Hey guys, we watched all of Ted, the movies, and the show. And if there's other stuff that you want us to watch, especially other like comedy stuff, comment it down below. And if you want to make us watch something, you can do so on our Patreon. And if you want to see all of our unedited reactions, the full reactions to all the episodes, that's available over at our Patreon at patreon.com. So spill in the milk. Subscribe for more videos like this. When Boston children gather together and beat up the Jewish kids. <laughs> Instantly beating up Jewish kids joke. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I guess Santa paid attention how good you were this year, huh? Dude, dude, fun fact. His mom on the couch is the voice of Lois Griffin. Wow, that's crazy. And it's his dad. His dad looks like that one guy. Um, fun fact, he's that one guy that Eden said. <laughs> There was something about that bear. Bro, Flash Gordon, bro. The foreshadowing in this film already, it's, it's impeccable. Nothing is more powerful than a young boy's wish. Isn't that a little misogynistic? <laughs> Little girl's wishes don't get granted. <laughs> It's a very cinematic movie for being live action Family Guy. It tricks you into thinking it's a real movie and then it like becomes Family Guy. Are you telling me Family Guy isn't cinematic? Help me. This is fucking terrifying. Why the fuck does Ted sound like Darwin right now? It doesn't sound like Seth MacFarlane at all. Because I don't think it is. That is Seth MacFarlane doing his best baby voice. Wait, really? There's no way. <laughs> That's horrifying. You're lying. Stop gaslighting. Stop gaslighting. Merry Christmas, everybody! Ah! <laughs> Jesus H. Fuck! <laughs> Teddy had become a huge celebrity in his own right. Oh my god, it's the Joker scene. Oh my god. <laughs> Dad's gonna murder fucking George Carlin. We're totally safe. Teddy. Oh my god, it's the Thunder Buddy scene. Do you promise we'll always be together? No, it's not. It's not. Never mind. Sorry. Not yet. Now it is. Oh, now it is. Okay. Everybody needs a best friend. Jack literally just like sent this to me. It's like, you gotta listen to this. <laughs> no context. I sent him the Ted soundtrack. I'm like, yo. I heard the first chord. And I was like, this is Family Guy music. And it's the same composer. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It Freddy is a FNAF Fazbear. movie. Oh, shit. That's literally Freddy Fazbear jump scare. Oh my God, he's smoking <laughs> weed already. We hit the speed run. You ever hear a Boston girl have an orgasm? Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is family. <laughs> oh my God. See, it tricks you into being a real movie and then Peter Griffin shows up. <laughs> oh, Johnny, I'm, I'm sorry, man. That, that car just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Complimentary map of Boston. And Joe's in it! I forgot Joe is in it! He just got the whole cast of Family Guy in this bitch. I dig chicks, man. I don't remember any of it. I was so fucked up. I might be gay, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Lori ever fart in front of you? Yeah, many times. You Italian? What? What, <laughs> what a weird question! What a weird interaction. <laughs> I, don't, I honestly just don't get the joke. I don't- I don't know, man. If it were me, I'd be expecting a proposal. I mean, I submit that love is enough. Put the ring in her ass. Or farted out. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? They just gave Joe the weirdest lines in the movie. Joe's gay and really a weirdly obsessed with farting. <laughs> but you don't think she's gonna be expecting something big, do you? What, like <laughs> <laughs> That is big, to be honest. It's a terrible idea. I mean, you got the economy, you got the, the credit bubble, the Supreme Court. I mean, look at Haiti. The fuck does Haiti have to do with the United States <laughs> of America? Why is why is Haiti a factor in whether or not he proposes? Turkey burgers. Oh, turkey burgers. Are, are we having homosexuals over for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> this movie was very liberal with the homophobia, dude. It's pretty funny. No. It does. It doesn't work. It's so weird just hearing Meg coming out of a human's mouth. They're literally doing a shut up Meg moment without saying it. We can go anywhere else tomorrow. I really don't care as long as we're together. McDonald's it is. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to Five Guys. Yeah, you treat a girl right. Take her to Five Guys. Get her that bougie shit. <laughs> Thunder buddies for life, right, Johnny? Fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get me Thunder because you're just God's fat. <laughs> I would break up with him instantly after that. Like, how do you- Does Ted get to watch? I mean, I'd love him if he was a janitor. I mean, he has a huge heart. He has a huge heart, unless we're talking about Vietnamese people. <laughs> That's the one black hole in his heart. Or should I say, oh, I yellow. <laughs> Shout out Coldplay. Shout out Coldplay. Oh, why don't you like me? I'm rich, I'm good looking, my dad owns the company. Damn, he's literally just the same. He just is Jeff. He plays a perfect asshole. I imagine he's not this rude in real life, but it's hard not to believe. 
the fact that this movie has such a great OST carries the vibe of it so hard. Like it has this kind of lowbrow humor, but it gives it veneer of class. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they met. He fucking beat her up. Name that movie. Octopussy. <gasps> Baby. How could you forget a movie called The Octopussy? <laughs> it's unforgettable, dude. The Octopussy sex is crazy. That's not how I remember it. Okay, how do you remember it? Family Guy cutaway gag. It's a Family Guy cutaway gag. Motherfucker went to Claire's. He went to Claire's, picked up the sh the five dollar. No, he didn't even go to Claire's. He said a kiosk at the mall, so he went to one of the tiny little stores in the middle. <laughs> That's even worse. Please ask Ted to move out so we can move on with our lives. He's the only reason I ever gained any fucking confidence. You're 35 years old. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? The ladies and I were just watching Jack and Jill. Oh my god. This is your life. This is your life, Jack. The hookahs watching Jack and Jill. We're living life, bro. My relationship is at a very delicate stage, you know. He's breaking up with his best friend, dude. This is sad. And I do love it, Ted. No, I, I know you do, Johnny. It's like a weirdly, like, much more human conversation that I would expect of this kind of comedy movie. <laughs> like, he is genuinely expressing his feelings. Uh-huh. Okay, all right, good talk, coach, thanks. All right, buddy, go get him. He would be like a fire mascot. Like, you know how they got, like, Geico, Geico? They got the Aflac duck? Yeah. He could be, I don't know. The Teddy Graham's Ted, bro. Literally perfect. Ha 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 Sexual harassment. But he's a teddy bear, so it's funny. Oh my god. Have you ever considered selling the bear? What? Excuse me? I want it. Human trafficking? Pal, I'm a he, all right? Uh, Dude, he just corrected his pronoun. <laughs> woke movie, woke movie. We're very interested in the bear. If, if you want to make some sort of arrangement, here's my address and phone number. So this is going to come back in the second act low point, right? This apartment is like living in luxury nowadays, bro. And they're from the depressing music and stuff. Hey, he's working at a grocery store part time and he can afford this. It's crazy. Don't worry, Johnny. I'll, I'll be fine. I know you will. I'm gonna cry, bro. I'm gonna cry. Break up with your girlfriend. Live with your teddy bear. Fuck you. I think it's a new beginning for our relationship. Shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. I don't have to be at work for another 20 minutes, so. Because I'm only gonna need one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This is the Riz right here. This is powerful pickup. We need to learn from Ted. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what? What? And I really loved him. And then he got deported back to Iran. Well, I guess we both lost our furry little guy. Sure did. <laughs> Just tell him you don't feel well. Laurie tried to break up a dog fight and I guess you got hurt pretty bad. His acting is impeccable. He wouldn't let go until the fireman showed up and had to stick his finger in his ass. Up the dog's ass, right? Yeah, up the dog's ass, <laughs> up the fireman's ass. I thought the fireman stuck his own finger up his own ass. <laughs> <laughs> I've still never hit a bong. Damn, bro. I'll get you a Ted-themed bong for your birthday next year, bro. I could ask for nothing more. Oh my god, oh, I don't even want to watch this. It's just so weird. It's a teddy bear. I f***ed her with a parsnip last week, and I sold the parsnip to a family with four small children. <laughs> that took guts. <laughs> <laughs> Company's turning 20, so you can bang it, but you can't get it drunk. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> she enjoys my humor. Meeting the lady that can snatch him up. Did you just call me a wha? What? <laughs> okay, come on, come on. I didn't know you had a baby. Is it alive? <laughs> oh my god. I just fought it. That was a man fight. The concept of this movie is everything to me. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, because the movie's truly about everything. It addresses like the racial disparity, class consciousness, relationships, marriage, sexuality, marriage, substance abuse. Everybody needs a best friend. The day when Ted gets a second song is the day I cry. <laughs> One day it will. These boxing gloves worn by Joe Lewis in his first fight. This is art. What a measuring contest. He might as well just pull his fuck out already. Maybe that's where they're going. Walk into the bathroom. Check this out. It's Lance Armstrong's nut. Oh, I forgot about this. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> <laughs> he said it so seriously. She told me how you are at the office. 
And as one gentleman to another, I just want to say, I really hope you fucking get Lou Gehrig's disease. <laughs> <laughs> what a goat. But, but look, man, I, I do that with everybody at the office. I <laughs> harass everyone at the office, so it's okay. I actually harass every single person who works underneath me. Even the men. And I'm not even gay. Like, I just do it because, like, I want equality. Laurie cannot find out. She absolutely cannot know I was gone. If you can cover for me... I'm cool with all that other shit. You can harass my girlfriend. If you can cover for me, I'll give you one time with my girlfriend. One. Just one. This should just turn into Speed Racer. Just tell her you're gonna meet Flash Gordon. She wouldn't allow him. Hey, Sam, this is the guy I was telling you about. Whoa, the wind is blowing. He's so old. Look at this guy. This movie is filled with homoerotic tension, and I absolutely love it. And it gets even more homoerotic. Look at this. He's holding on to him. This is so weird. Shit's turning into heavy metal. It's like when Kenny was huffing the cat piss. Yeah, this is a cat piss episode, but he's completely sober. Let's do some shots. With you? Oh my god. Yes, oh yes. my god, yes. Totally. Oh my god, this is so hard to watch. He's throwing his life away right now. How can I even watch this? Trust me, I can do this. Shut up. Let him try it, man. All right, fuck it. <laughs> oh, this scene. Oh god. Oh god, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't. I have all my fingers. Uh, uh, goes, chop, chop, chop. <laughs> What? He's confused. Ted is like, you just stabbed him. <laughs> if you can punch through this wall, you really are Flash Gordon. Come on, Sam, do it. Do it! Come Come on. It. Holy sh... That noise was insane. What's your name? I'm John. My name is Wan Ming. Death to Ming! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Hate crime. He's attacking an Asian man. That's Mark's job. What's going on? This is uh, Jared. The guy who beat me up. It's just Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, that's Ryan Reynolds with Joe Swanson. He's gay or whatever. Is Ryan Reynolds just in this scene to be gay with Joe Swanson? <laughs> wow. At that very moment, she shows up. I'm sorry, I messed up. Sorry, I need you out of the apartment tonight. Can I give me the car keys? Can I please just explain? No. Lori, I can drive, I promise. I didn't do that much coke. I didn't drink. I can drive. It makes me a better driver, I promise. It makes me a better driver. I'm way better. I'm way more focused. I'm way more focused when I'm drunk. But it was Flash Gordon. Like, come on, man. She would never understand. If I was at my girlfriend's function and Ted calls me and says that Seth MacFarlane's at a party, like, I'm ditching. I gotta meet Seth MacFarlane. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I, I gotta be on my own, Ted. I can't see you anymore. Two breakups, back to back. They spent more time on this breakup than the other one. Their relationship is built up more than his actual relationship. And this is probably better. Looks like he's in The Shining right now. I remember when this movie came out, I was like 12, and my uncle was like, he cried to this movie when he first saw it. That's beautiful. Did he go through a divorce or something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is the first time that you've been single in all the years you've worked here. Just go out with me one time he needs a one dance just give it to him like shake your ass for me once he fucks with hotline bling but that's it he wants Lori to call him on his cell phone reading tin tin i wasn't expecting him to have such bolstered taste in comics we're in store for the best fight scene in all of cinema <laughs> Is this better than just chicken fight? Better than any chicken fight. Better than any Avenger movie. Better than anything, bro. You cannot take responsibility for anything that goes on in your life. Oh, and you can? I don't have to. I'm a fucking teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's animated so well. Just a pure masterpiece of visuals. He deserves it, though. Like, it's kind of satisfying to watch Mark Wahlberg get beat up. I love you too. A Ted beat the shit out of him. Mark Wahlberg is on steroids all the time and he got fucked. This is Nora Jones. This is the singer from the first song that I want to be your best friend in the movie. Why'd they make her sing a worse type of music? Do not diss my Nora Jones anymore, Cor. I will fucking beat the shit out of you like Ted did to Mark Wahlberg. You look fantastic. Well, you're probably not used to seeing me fully clothed. Me and Nora met in 2002 at a party at Belinda Carlisle's house. Oh wait, so she just is herself in the movie. Yes, she just plays herself and has had sex with Ted in 2002. My name is John Bennett and this is for Laurie Collins. Because I love you. This is the cringiest thing you could do. Had no intention to do the thing. Still better than Katy Perry. No. 
No, you're what? wrong, Ted. What an aged joke. That joke hit in 2012, though. Let's be honest. We move as one. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucked. The crowd is so fucked. Down here, not looking up your towel, not looking at your funny business. Why is she in a towel during the scene? Because she was showering? I don't know. What do you want me to say? And then she like instantly changes out of the towel. Like, look, she was in a towel for like two seconds. Like, So they could have a joke about Ted looking at her funny business. Hi, Ted. Fuck. Hi, Ted fuck. Ted fuck? He would be a guy who would legally change his last name to fuck. I know I didn't take our relationship seriously, but Laurie... I do love you more than life itself. But I had to see Flash Gordon, Lori. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm sure if he just talked to Lori at that party and be like, can we leave early and meet Flash Gordon? She seems like a reasonable person. She would be mad, but she probably wouldn't have broken up with him. As you can see, you've been a part of our family for quite some time. How did this guy have a kid? Did he adopt this child? Yeah, he does not look like the parent of this child. He looks like he stole this kid also. Yeah, see, there's a guy. Can we talk about how unrealistic this scene is? Ted beat the shit out of Mark Wahlberg, and now he can't beat up this fat child and his skinny father? Unrealistic. Me and Ted are gonna be best friends, Daddy. Yes, you are, my little chipmunk. Ew. Where does this fit into the Alvin verse? I want Ted to link up with Alvin and the chipmunks, and Ted would definitely get the best Ted. Six, seven. Okay, no peeking now, or you'll get kid cancer. Kids get a very special kind of cancer. That they're playing a rearrangement of like the Star Wars theme right now. Or was that Indiana Jones? Oh, oh my, my is he god. That? This is so weird. What <laughs> am I what? <laughs> he's drinking beer with a straw. He did kidnap a teddy bear, so. He's like an archetype that doesn't exist. Yeah, he's a person that is not real. Why are you getting calls from your block number? Like what? Also, didn't they finish on good terms? They got me. That freaky guy from the park and that kid who I think is his son, but may also be his lover. I don't know. <laughs> oh. I wouldn't put it past that motherfucker. You saw how he was dancing that song. You crazy bastard. I hear the fat kid running. I hear the fat kid running. I bet it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. That's him. That's him. Turn around. The Ted car chase is crazy. I was not expecting a car chase in this movie. This entire episode could have been condensed to a gumball episode because, like, it kind of follows the format. It's ending with the car chase scene. Holy shit. What a badass. This movie is just insane because this did not need a villain. Like, literally all of this is just so flabbergasting. <laughs> Are you really going to get back together with him after this? He just punched a fat child. Is this what's really happening? The fat lady's never going to sing at this rate. Rocking horses and dancing. I think we're very far apart on this. It is very funny because even as the stakes and tone of the movie changes, Ted does not change at all. No! Ted! Ted! Don't rip him! Don't rip him! What if that's the setup for Ted too? He gets ripped in half and the other half forms into a new Ted. <laughs> Oh my god, they killed him. They killed Ted. No! Ted! Ah! What the fuck was that? What? I'm so sorry. Is this the part your uncle was crying at? I think so. I was crying now. You were crying now. Is it what present or past tense, motherfucker? Make up your mind. That? Oh my God, you know who could save the day? Rosalina. <gasps> Our dynamite girl, bro. <gasps> a shooting star. Oh, cause she hasn't used her wish. Girls get a wish too. But girls' wishes are like worse than guys. Mark Wahlberg is like too muscular to be like a loser stoner. Well, they make him wear like bigger shirts to make it look like he isn't jacked. Well, he probably did this movie like near pain or gain or whatever. I'm alive. Your magical wish worked. Nah, I'm just kidding you. I thought it'd be funny if you thought I was fucking re <laughs> <laughs> You wished for my life back. No, I wished for my life back. What? What? 
Her life with the two of them, Jack. So no character development was made. The development of this movie was arriving at the same place we were when we started. He's going to regress like this. No, he just needs balance in his life. Like, that's, that's it. John and Laurie were married in Cambridge. By the power vested in me. No, no fucking, fucking way. way. Yay! Oh my god. Yeah! I'm gay or whatever, like, I don't know. I feel like they put that in the movie just so they're like, okay, we made all the gay jokes, but here's some positive gay representation. One magical wish forever changed the lives of three very special friends. That's us, three special friends. How Ted changed our life. Little John Bennett wished on a shooting star that his teddy bear would come to life. We're speed running the fucking backstory right now. This is for all the idiots that didn't watch the original masterpiece. Eventually. Oh, dude, they're playing this song. Is it the theme song of the show? But Lazy. Get a new great. song. They're being economical. You think they were going to make a whole new soundtrack just for a Peacock show? Do they have other shows on Peacock? The Office. Oh, yeah. It's the Office streaming service. <laughs> they should have just called it that, to be honest. Like, theoffice.com. Theoffice.com. It would have blown up so much more. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Are they supposed to be m You don't say m You say little people. M is rude. Why is it rude? He's short. <laughs> Ted is allowed to say it. He reclaimed the word. Well, I mean, technically. Yeah. That's not the same. Why not? You're a teddy bear. So what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He sounds more like Peter Griffin in the show. Who hit it? I didn't see. When I was packed outside the Hong Kong buffet. Ooh, racism. This is Mark Wahlberg's backstory. That's why they couldn't get Mark Wahlberg for this adaptation because of the, <laughs> the racism in the show. I'm sorry. What? I'm just saying. It's a bullshit stereotype. Tell that to my car. My car. The woke sister. I love this. Every sitcom needs a woke sister. It makes it's it weirdly prevalent. This actually. is the American dad dynamic. I'm not a racist. My favorite movie is Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> He's Italian. You can be racist too. What? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. Do you remember when you were a little girl? <laughs> She's a what? little girl. What? Did little... she say that and you're the N word as a kid or something? You used to cut the black Barbie's hair off first to see how it looked. <laughs> Bro, all little kids are racist, dude. You can't be bringing up the kid what, card. Hold on. All little kids Every are... child is born racist. Yeah, you have yeah. To you come out of the womb racist, and then you have to... Did you cut the black bobbies here first? Fine. Yes, okay. I, I... Bro, he slammed the desk like he just destroyed the argument. You didn't even bring that up, bro. What, what, what was the black bobby's name? <laughs> This is like, I feel like I'm watching like Ben Shapiro destroys a liberal in debate right now. What about Ted? Hmm? He's never had a day of education in his life, and it shows. This is the premise for the show. Okay, they're building Ted's the Ted's going to high show. school, baby. Ted, you might have fun. And I'm sure John would love to have you there. And the bitches are crazy. He needs to find, like, a female teddy bear, dude. Oh, no, Ted f***s real women. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's racist, bro. He can only, be, he can only date other bears? Like, fuck yeah. That's what I'm telling you. Every kid is born racist. Oh, let's see if we can find where Maddie hides his porn. Something so how good sad. Ted looks. Like, it's kind of creepy. It looks amazing. And that animation of him falling up the stairs is so goofy. Oh, talk about the right to bear arms. Oh, shit. Yo. See, he doesn't is... need He's a gun guy. That's how he gets the frustrations out, bro. He'd be shooting fucking random people outside the Hong Kong Chinese place, bro. Is he using a slip and slide gun combo? It's like a Valorant air like slide effect. Ted is realizing the American dream right now. Oh my god, that is f***ing awesome. Oh my god, that's why he goes. He basically shot his girlfriend there. Oh, hey, Maddie. What? He got the baddies over? I accidentally shot it. Yeah, and I felt really bad about it. And then I was like, hey, Ted, it was an accident. You gotta de-stress sometimes. He's his own therapist. He gave himself a prescription. Imagine you go to therapy and they're like, uh, I think you should get some hookers. That would really help you out. <laughs> God damn. This is a private school if I've ever seen one, man. Dude, he's gonna be the coolest kid in school or he's gonna be bullied instantly. There's no in between. Oh, last year we had an Indian kid. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but they got him. They got, they him. got him? What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Holy shit. Who is that? Bethany's sister. The girl that's like 15 years older than him? <laughs> he has a crush on her? What's her name? Sheila. Think fast, Bennett. Oh, what? I love over-the-top movie bullies. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Punch directly in the ball. He's quick with it, though. You know, I don't want to speculate on who's gay, but didn't you just touch his p twice? Oh, uh, the backup. Hey, anybody else here gay? How is it? <laughs> You're still a fucking zork. 
Oh, but now he doesn't hate gay people. He just hates dorks. He doesn't hate gay people anymore. Ted made him more progressive. From 1814 to 1815, following the writing of Child... You didn't tell me I have to fucking learn in this reaction today. I just want to hear Family Guy. It's a, the public school system, Jack. You're not going to learn real history. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You need to go to PragerU.com if you want to learn real history. PragerU. Okay, I'll write that down. And all that's best of dark and bright... Your wife is f***ing other guys. You don't complete verses in history. What the hell is this? This is English class now? Joke's on you, smart guy. Because my wife and I are having problems. <laughs> my, my wife is f***ing other guys. And I like to watch. My wife had an affair last year and- Oh my god, he hit it- he hit the nerve. I come in here every day acting like my life is great. This is- I feel like this is- he's gonna- <laughs> himself in this classroom right now. He's gonna use that tie. My daughter's having a pregnancy scare. Anyone want to talk about that? I do. I really I want to know. <laughs> I mean, Who's the guy? A good story. <laughs> is Ted the father? He can put his fluff in there. If you can stuff a turkey, you can stuff a woman. I'm not going to suspend you or anything else. We are going to make a successful student out of you. I like this concept. And it's you know it worked because of where he is in the first movie. Yeah, he's so great in the first movie. The babe. Oh, Sheila. Wait, oh, she's older. She doesn't go to high school. Well, it's a classic Ferb and Vanessa. Oh, she's smoking weed and driving. That's, damn, the it 90s. Was, it was the 90s, bro. It was the 90s. You're allowed to do anything you wanted back then. You get caught with drugs in school, you're gone. It's like zero tolerance here. Oh, fuck, wow. This is how they get into weed. Because he wanted <laughs> he to, wanted to get expelled. Because we know how it ends up. So he's just gonna, like, torture every teacher in the entire show and he's not gonna learn. Because he's a fucking asshole in the movie. <laughs> if you don't come with me, I will tell her you bait to network television. You mother Does he? The way he responded. You can't always predict how long the scene is, so half the time you would to an establishing shot. Oh, Lord. Oh, fuck. A tasteful duplex. I would come to a tasteful duplex. I mean, in this economy, I go to Zillow and just jerk off the $2 million houses. <laughs> you just, uh, wash your hands? I had diarrhea. Hi, I'm Ted. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> I'm How you fumbled that hard? Couldn't help but notice you were, uh, smoking a little pot. What, are you gonna narc on me? No, Teddy and I often partake of... El Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Why is no one impressed by the teddy bear? I don't, I don't get it. We're looking to get some weed. We thought maybe you could help us out. How old are you again? 16 and a half. Oh, uh, the half? Why'd you have to add the half? The fucking Care Bears are all meth addicts. Paddington's on Quaaludes and Fozzie's a cokehead. Paddington is on Quaaludes? Paddington? What? What are they hooking him up with in Darkest Peru? Dude, why do establishing shots just make everything look better than they actually are, bro? I, if I went to Boston, there's no way it looked like this. Why is Ghibli food so good, man? It's so good. This is my allowance for the month. Dad asked where it went. We bought tickets to see Schindler's List. We were so moved that we donated it to Jew causes. This is scary. I don't like the sound of a baby mercilessly crying. It's kind of clean, though. This just looks like where Ted moves in the movie. Hi, I'm here for the week. No way. Le epic plot twist. The sister. Wait, the woke sister smokes weed? A woke hippie liberal smokes weed? What? No fucking no. way. The fuck do you want? Wait, so I can't say m it, but you can sell drugs? <laughs> <laughs> What's with all the noise? We're using the money to help pay for tuition. That's a very noble cause. That's honestly good. Wait, Maddie charges you rent? 200 bucks a month. Fuck, man, that sounds so good. I hate inflation. But why Why does, Why do we have to watch these shit taking place like 30 years ago, man? You've never smoked before, have you? What are you? What are you talking about? Yeah, I have. I do lots of drugs. I do I do the drug. I've done drug before. I've done lay awesome drug. It's for me, Blair. I swear to God. When have I ever lied to you? Like 10 seconds ago when you said you were on coke? Well, yeah, but since then, I've given it to you straight. That's 10 true. seconds straight without lying is hard. <laughs> As a pathological liar, it's really hard to do that. I gotta escape my demons, and it's either drugs or the church. You know what they do to guys my size? Please don't make me suck a deacon's dick. And he's like the size of like a pastor boy forever, bro. Like he can't Yeah, grow. I guess he said he's donating to Jew causes, not Catholic causes. Not Catholic causes for a reason. I bet I'm the only kid in school who hasn't smoked. I haven't smoked. I haven't had sex. I haven't had a girlfriend. Clive's right. I'm a f***ing loser. Yeah, you definitely start with weed. That's the order. Yeah. Weed, sex, girlfriend. That's, that's literally the order of life. And then you're done. You've completed life at that point. You and me have been best friends like our whole lives. We're about to get high together for the first time. Let's do this right. Pickle Rick Bong? No Pickle Rick Bong. Oh, it didn't exist back then. Their suit is gonna smell like weed for the rest of time. This is how the people who make Patrick Bateman edits, you know, smoke their first <laughs> one. You know what I mean? Is that a Pringles can? They're doing it out the Pringles can? You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, okay? Hello, God. Why does Ted look better in the suit than John? Because his is 
just clearly tailored. Like, you know, he has to get it made for him specifically. Yeah, John looks like he got a suit. Like, that's a hammy. That's down. a church suit. They're playing the George Lopez song. There's no bah, other bah, names bah, bah, to the song. Bah, bah. And then George Lopez appears. They hallucinate George Lopez appearing. This is so fucking awesome, dude. Dude, imagine recording this as the kid. It's a perfect steak. -um. The perfect steak. -um. <laughs> <laughs> Feel it. They couldn't be any more conspicuous. Jesus. You guys are acting like it's today's special illegal seafood. It's fine. Damn, bro. <laughs> Divorce that fucking asshole, dude. She deserves better, dude. She could. She needs us. Us three. We could be the husbands that she never had. It's funny. I ate all those steakums and I'm still hungry. <laughs> this is just such an authentic getting high for the first time experience. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where does the panic attack kick they in? They didn't smoke enough, dude. That'll come in due time. It was just for you. All right. Okay. I didn't want to have to resort to this. I love you. See, now you're not mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to say no and I pressured him. No, 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 you're 16. Why is the teddy bear more adult? Does he mature more quickly? So he sounds like Seth MacFarlane and John is still 16, so maybe he ages rapidly. Or maybe Seth MacFarlane has sounded that way since he was 16. Oh my God, your boy, he's on the roof. Sounds like Carl Weezer, dude. For God's sake, you've been listening to the news? Eisenhower says we all gotta stay inside. Oh my God. Dude, <laughs> gaslighting. I love that old lady. Mrs. Fetchko is such a crazy character. Okay, you little shit. You are in a lot of trouble. Look, it was. This is like the image of the the lesbians, like the the big lesbian holding up the small lesbian. Oh, yeah, you know that you like know that one that. meme. God damn it, Clive. We need that weed. Oh. oh my God. There was no impact in that kick. Nobody throws shade at Pearl Shea. Yes, I apologize. We have all benefited from her windowsill wisdom. She is a national treasure. I like that. They're like bonding over shared love for media. Yeah, but but he had weed. All right, I'm a witness. I would need to see the marijuana for there to be consequences. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying. They're trying so hard to get in trouble, dude. Let's go in here. Not the closet, bro. Doesn't Ted watch TV? He should know you don't go in the closet, man. Hasn't Ted ever listened to R. Kelly? When I was in high school, I used to forget sometimes and I'd get made fun of. Really? I hate that. That's probably why I'm so self-conscious about it. Jesus, what the f- that's Sai. And I saw that she lost a hand and I was so happy about it. Does it make me a terrible person? I don't like this like realistically broken woman. You know what I mean? I love it she saw before she sprayed that's respect to she her she had plenty of time Teddy, where are you? oh my god john is that mary joanna <laughs> only like middle-aged white women could say mary joanna i sold the pot to ted i never should have let johnny try it i have failed in my role as a, a, a sort of Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of true. He, true. Is like, he is like a Jiminy Cricket figure. It's 15K a year, Maddie. I'd have to sell myself at McDonald's. Oh, you could call it filet of flesh. Is that something? Is that something? He's testing his jokes out in the <laughs> script. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm not the one in the hot seat here. She's a drug dealer, and I want her out of this house tonight. You know, this seems dysfunctional, but this is actually one of the most functional Bostonian families out there. <laughs> I didn't want you to have to leave, even if your bed is the size of a pool table. I mean, that's probably about the size of a pool table, right? Shut the up, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know all the details of why I've been living here? When my own family lives 45 minutes away, I could easily commute to school. Well, I, I wouldn't say easily. I mean, a 45 minute, you know, minute commute is, is nothing. That kind of sucks dude and instead i introduced you to the wonderful world of drugs that's so sweet that like after this learning moment ted and john never did weed again they never smoked after this teddy this whole blair situation is really shitty <sighs> yeah i know i mean i never knew she thought of me that way yeah this is a lot more serious than I expected to be the performances are really good genuinely i guess under all that complaining about racism there's actually a good person in there <laughs> beneath all that woke there's actually a real person beneath all the woke there's someone who's actually broke that's true <laughs> damn dude damn. She did damn. Bar woke and go broke bars we are gonna we gotta donate to our patreon bro deep down i was saving it for a day like this when the chips were down and all hope seemed lost the hell is this what is it going to be rocky stallone Yep, he came to me with the project, and I said yes. It was going to be about this astronaut cop and this wisecracking bear. That sounds amazing. <laughs> but then the Challenger exploded, so they had to scrap the project. <laughs> anyway, Stallone felt really bad about it, so he gave me this. Ew. Oh, it's from Rocky. Huh? Just let us stay. Oh. 
Ted's a good person. Ted is good. Deep down. Deep That's down, amazing. Is this is a good arc in the episode. So you can stay. Oh, Maddie, you mean it? Yeah. <laughs> he got talked down quick, bro. He got talked down quick. What you did it gives me a lot of hope. Don't worry. I'm, I, we're just a couple of young Sheldons. You know how it is. Bazinga. You just promise me this. No more drugs. No more drugs. No more drugs. They're going to do something with their lives. Besides pot. Besides pot. <laughs> so anyways, Jeff, like, I just feel like there's something so beautiful about smoking out of a bong with my Coca-Cola branded bottles near me and my Oreo Jesus. branded candies with me. And my Doritos too. Dude, that's like, uh, those my are my Dorito favorite. branded Doritos. Dude, my Coke branded Coke is fucking delicious, man. Oh, oh f Clive, two o'clock. He follows you in there, you're a dead man. Is Clive supposed to be like a bad boy? Like that's like the most old man f character ever well this takes place in like the 90s right so my name is clive you take all the time you need to i won't judge <laughs> he's looking him directly in the eye that is confidence like a grown man wouldn't have like as a normal man you're not looking at another guy's eyes that is all the things i need wait jesus <laughs> Jesus! He gave him the piss strength. He solved his pee shyness. You wouldn't want to swim. <laughs> yeah! Nice going, Bennett. Pee much? Oh, it's in the shape of a dick. <laughs> Drink up, Oh, Wait, no, not the toilet. I'm not supposed to get wet. It said so on my tail. <laughs> I saw this article that said that Seth MacFarlane actually did motion tracking for all of Ted's movements. Do you think he actually got a swirly for the show? He wanted it to be authentic. He wanted it to be realistic as possible. He says you're overdue for a colonoscopy. Not all Jewish doctors are smart, Susan. Some of them Hebrews are just in it for the money. Hebrews! Some of them Hebrews. Get Kanye off the mic. Get Kanye off the Who hired him? Is it Muriel's son, Clyde? I don't know, is Muriel's son a sadistic steroid bully with a pee fish? He doesn't have a father. The way Ted speaks is kind of like how Stewie speaks, but everyone can understand him. Because Ted is always saying the most out-of-pocket shit, and they don't react that, like, crazy to it. They're so used to it. Clive, this is your father. What? This is a classic childhood move. Did you guys ever do prank calls? No, I never did. The Jehovah's Witnesses didn't like to prank call? Our prank call was spreading the good word, bro. You know, I fought in the war. Whoa. Which one? You got that right, my friend. Every war. Every f***ing war. <laughs> Ted has so much more intelligence than any of these teenagers. He's taking advantage. This is too much. Can't wait to meet you. Yeah, get those hopes sky high, buddy. I love you. <laughs> Cutting it off right as he's saying I love you is a beautiful. Okay, this isn't that f***ed up because they literally flushed Ted down the toilet. Like, he was in the sewage system, like, like a day ago. Look. Ahoy. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Is he going to fall for it? I need you to deliver a message to one of your customers. Dumb looking guy dressed like an idiot. Sir, this is Friendly's. Can you be more specific? <laughs> Her delivery was perfect, too. He's glad he left and he likes his adopted Korean kids better. Why would she even say this? Why would you read that? What does she have to gain in this situation? Clive tried to kill himself. Holy shit. He ate an entire bottle of Flintstones vitamins. Even the Bettys. <laughs> Even the Bettys. Those are the strongest ones in the pack. Ted almost drove someone to suicide in episode two of the show. Why'd you leave that message? It was a test. I, I, it was a test. Oh my God. You cried. <laughs> you said you liked your adopted Korean kids better. I don't have them anymore. You don't? I had to, to release them. <laughs> <laughs> They're not Pokemon, bro. You left them in the PC forever, bro. I suck at school. I have a math test tomorrow. I'm probably going to fail. Oh, come on. This is a very long scene. Why is it still going? How hasn't John taken the phone away from him yet? I've actually been wondering how he did on that test. Me too. They're becoming father figures. They're becoming his dad. Eat a dick, asshole. <laughs> <gasps> he passed. He's excited. <laughs> he wasn't even affected. Like they don't even care anymore. They're just enjoying it. When they put you under, you're not in control. All right? You, you, you can say some shit. I don't want anybody to find out my secrets. What are his secrets? I saw part of this episode out of context, and this is, uh, he's about to say some fucked up shit. Is it going to have like a Mel Gibson moment? But you're not a Rose got you. 
But you gotta go with me. Why? Because when they drug me up, if I start saying anything about Vietnam, you gotta make a lot of noise. She has to be in the room? This is so fucked up. Vietnam. Oh my god, what did he do in Vietnam? My birthday's coming up on Saturday, and I was wondering if maybe I could see you. They're gonna go to his birthday. Dude, Sorry. this is sad. Oh, what about this? Sega Genesis. Yeah, I don't know. They're buying him a birthday present? They're buying him a Sega Genesis? Don't buy it. It's gonna have a short lifespan. Don't buy it. None of this shit matters anyway, because we only got 20 bucks. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. What are we gonna do? Okay, that's good. But you're ready. <laughs> that looks so funny. I just want Ted to be six feet tall from now on. This is gonna be a problem. <laughs> This looks like the fucking CGI when Scooby-Doo is like dancing in that one movie, bro. When Scooby-Doo's in the first Scooby-Doo movie in the fucking woman outfit. I'm gonna need your parents' phone numbers. My parents are out of town. I don't have parents on account of I'm a teddy bear that came alive. Did the fucking cop actually ask the teddy bear's parents' name? Like, what is he gonna say? Fucking Paddington? Fucking Berenstain Bears. The Berenstain Bears or the Berenstain Bears? Nelson Mandela is the only one who will understand what the true stains are. I really wanted to be an actor. Oh, wow. When I, when I was in my, my 20s, I did this community uh, theater production of Pippin. This is just a recording of his audition for the role. I love gaslighting old people. It's my favorite thing to do. Cats fit on the windowsill. Children fit in the snow. Sing a Pippin. Oh, no. Oh, Ted, Ted can't do it. Is he going to break and just tell him to shut up? Yeah. A thousand wows yeah. and more Thank wows you. on top of that. I yeah. feel like this Thank was you. time well spent. This whole episode is them gaslighting and lying to people for their own personal gain. They're so good at just, like, gassing people up. I don't like this. This was a bad idea. Well, you fucking relax. It's gonna be fine. Oh my god. This is gonna be traumatizing for her. Get under the gurney. What? Hide under the gurney. This is so fucked up. Just pay for an apartment. Fuck your stupid uncle. Like, what is this? It's sexual for them. This is not sexual for them. I'll give you $300. Would you guys do this for $300? I'd do this for $0, bro. <laughs> yeah, you just love watching. Jack, sneak me and I will go to your colonoscopy exam, okay? Bro, I'm gonna start fucking talking about the Korean War, bro. I did some crazy shit back then. Yeah. <laughs> His poor wife, huh? I was just <laughs> thinking that. Guys, I gotta be honest. This is for me. That was a Family Guy joke. Oh my god. I need to record my colonoscopy to see what, like the shit talk they're gonna talk about my asshole, bro. Like, I swear to god. What the fuck are we supposed to do now? He thinks his dad's showing up. I don't know. We find somebody to be his dad. They're gonna hire some guy on Craigslist. They're gonna get the security guard. He's an actor! Oh my god. Maddie made me go into the operating room with him, so oh, what the hell? him up if the drugs made him say some shit about Vietnam. Why did he have to make this episode? I have to get a colonoscopy. Why did he have to make this episode? We're your family. Just fucking tell us. I f***ed off a dog! <laughs> is the wife gonna be like, is that why we've never got a dog? <laughs> like, she's wanted a dog their entire marriage. My buddy Donnie and I were about to start the night watch when we noticed... Scout had an erection. Oh, God. Just stop talking. Keep going. No. No. And that's when it happened. He made a noise like a bark, but... Happier. He busted! He busted! He gave the dog post my clarity. For God's sake, somebody say something! You soldiers gave so much. This show is crazy. God bless our troops. They're jacking off the dog so we don't have to, bro. You know, tell me what you want to communicate and then I will interpret it as an actor. The escalation of this plot feels more like something that would happen in South Park. A funny concept like slowly escalating. It's me, son. I've returned. <laughs> this is so weird. This is so immoral. This should be illegal. I like you were saying that and like five seconds ago. We, t we just heard about his father. <laughs> she's a widowed farm owner and she's hired me as a farmhand at her estate. Is that, is he, is that Pippin? He's, he's doing Pippin. He only knows one fucking role. Why did they hire the manic security guard at Target? Mom, look, dad's here. Abort, abort, get the fuck out of there. What are you talking about? Why didn't he see that coming? Run. This is the most shoddy, disorganized production I have ever been a part of. <laughs> That's my Pippin. That's my Pippin right there. You think you can fuck with my head and live? 
This is the only time he deserves to get beat up. This is actually, it's like fair. What is a dad? It's someone who believes in you. He's actually still trying to be his father. They're trying so hard. You've really turned things around. Your grades are better. You're smiling more. I am. It's working. They rolled 20 and had a charisma buff like every single scene in this fucking episode. What do you say we have some cake? And something healthy. <laughs> is this the end of the Clive bully arc? This is what it's like to have two dads. Hey, thanks again for picking us up, Blair. <laughs> for some reason, she's driving the car. I just imagine the Canadian PSA where Sheldon crashes the car. I really hope they get into a car crash. Dude, they should do a cameo where they run over Brian in this. They hit a dog. They hit a dog, and it's like realistic, just like the Brian. Oh, hey, can we stop by the video store? I want to rent a movie. Oh my god, it's so nostalgic, though. Don't you guys love putting Blockbuster out of business by renting movies and then never giving them back? What do you mean? That's how they made their money, by charging people up the ass for losing the movies. But what if you didn't pay them and they went bankrupt? We have this thing called a credit score, Jack. You have to pay back your debts. I'm still running. You ever seen a p no? What are they like? Turn it on, you settle in, you get your Kleenex and your lotion, and you, you fucking go to town. What is he going to town on? What is this bear going to town on? He's pulling out the parsnip, bro. And even though you didn't leave the house, you know you've contributed to a woman's nightmare. What? <laughs> what the fuck? We need the Ted pre-prequel, where it's about Ted's life in Hollywood. They make Ted like Benjamin Button, they just keep going backwards. I would love that. I would love that shit. Us entering the porno store. What the fuck? Me entering my g cave. You have a bellhop and a, and a bartender and a butler in your g cave. What has been hotel character do you want to j off to today? How's the wife, Lloyd? I'm afraid that Clara passed away last month. Why is there so much backstory? I'm afraid that Jeremy blames me for his mother's death. How terrible. John goes too far with the improv. Like, can we just be honest? This is a cutaway joke. This is an extremely extended cutaway joke. I said no one under 18. It's all right, buddy. It's just me. You came to life in 1985. That makes you what? Eight? What are you, eight? It's like when you're like 17, you get someone else to buy you beer. Like they're going to get someone <laughs> adult to buy you porn. Uh, Blair, I'm not renting you porn. Okay, if I was Mormon, I'd be a grandfather by now. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> all right. Fine. I don't have time to stand here all day and argue, okay? Just go wait in the car. Most based cousin? Bro, she's gonna get them, like, wholesome porn, though. She's gonna get them, like, the Peppa Pig of porn, bro. Like, no one wants to see that shit. Whoa, the 400 blows. What the hell is this? Is that the Eiffel Tower, bro? They're about to Eiffel Tower someone. The 400 blows is a real movie? Really? You suck. No, no, but wait, they were talking about ball sacks. Ball sack. Yeah, exactly. So where were they? <laughs> <laughs> There's no s on TV. This is the first time Seth MacFarlane has written something that didn't have s on TV. He's changing. He's becoming an adult. It's stuck. They can only watch the 400 blows. Oh, wait. No, are they going to put real in it and it gets stuck? Oh, <laughs> you need to stop guessing everything in this show, Core. Okay, mom and dad are going to be out of the house and Blair's got school. There will never be a better time. For what? For us to j off together like the Beatles? You're gonna j off with your teddy bear beside you? I guess that's how they had to do it in the old days. Like you had a TV in the living room, you got all the mates together and you put that shit in. God, I was born in the wrong generation, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Enjoy your new lives as adults. Ted's took a little bit of work. I, I can't use this. Why not? It looks like Bob Ross. It is. <laughs> it's Bob Ross. It looks like Bob Ross. Oh my God. What? You're Bob Ross. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a real person. This is like this picture I saw on Twitter the other day of this white woman taking a picture with Snoop Dogg, but it was just some random black dude. Like, how do you do this? Imagine seeing Bob Ross rent porn. Like, that just feels wrong. Isn't this a magical night? My sock's got a big hole in it. If I tear it off, will you shove it in your purse? <laughs> what the hell? It's the least romantic man on the planet. You call your mother and you tell us, excellent job. My mother has advanced Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god none of the extras in this show have a filter this is like what a retail worker would actually want to say my mother has advanced alzheimer's she's got mega alzheimer's alzheimer's wasn't enough she got ultra timers bro wouldn't it be fun to be a waiter on a cruise ship because when you're done you're already home oh my god this is sad he doesn't even pay attention to her though like i feel bad i could fix her bro i could fix her maybe we should watch alone like in shifts yeah i don't want to watch alone that feels tragic <laughs> what <laughs> what what a word to use tragic just before you finished Put that in what's left of your food and then find it. Oh my god. 
<laughs> He's crazy. He's so crazy. Everyone in this family is weird and fucked up in a unique and miserable way. I think he might be the most. Obviously, the dad is the most fucked up. Genital hospital. What the fuck? Oh, he's a doctor. Looks like it's his first day at a new hospital. Why are you commentary? Is he going to narrate everything because they aren't actually going to show it? I'd pay good money to have Seth MacFarlane commentate over every point. This is like if we just did spilling the milk commentary. Seth, if you're watching this, we'd love to have you on, man. Tape froze. And of course it freezes on the guy making the O face. Not even the girl, dude. They have to j off to the Freddie Mercury fucking mustache. This is an older model. You probably can't even fucking find it anymore. Yes, you can. The AV room at school. They got one there. We can go get it tonight. Steal it. They're gonna break into the school of genius. There's a game tonight. The school's open. We dress like basketball players. This dude knows everything about this fucking school, bro. Why is Ted so prepared for every situation? He didn't even want to go to school. Now he knows the school like it's the back of his fucking paw, bro. Ah, there we go. Okay, you stay here. I'm gonna make sure the coach is clear. He's straight balling. Ted is balling right now, and I don't know if my body can handle this right now. I don't know, coach. I think I heard it break. A little ice. Best thing for it. Hey! Oh my god, they're gonna sub him in the basketball game. Ted is like the Jackie Robinson of basketball. He's the first teddy bear to be balling. He's making a big leap for teddy bear kind right now. <laughs> He won! In a perfect world, the rest of the episode is Ted playing basketball. Is that why you wanted to go out to dinner? Because he had a coupon? And I spent no money. A perfect evening. And the activity book. Not the activity book. This is just a perfect documentation of what lead poisoning does to people. <laughs> This is not what she needed, bro. Maybe this is what she needs. Maybe she needs to unwind. A little me time. Oh my god, she's gonna like it. No way. No way. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. My yeah, this woman some pleasure. God. Give her some pleasure for once. You make sure no one's coming. Right. Fuck. Oh shit. It's gone. The mom took the porn. Going to church. She gonna go to confessional? Oh, she is. Dude, I can't believe I used to do this shit as a kid, bro. Church is fucking bonkers, dude. When I went to the confessional, I'm like, bro, I was too lit at school this week. Daddy is your husband. And if one of you is bored in the marriage, then the other may wish to consider how to address that. He's giving her advice. She's going to sex therapy by herself. Is porn gonna save their marriage? Porn saved the marriage. Gooding is going to kill John's mom. Can we talk about this, chat? Gooding killed my mother. No! She knows I watched porn. Oh boy, it looks that way. I can never face her again. We have to run away, never to return. <laughs> never to return. What you watching? High Plains Drifter. It's Clint Eastwood week. Oh. What's it about? Oh my god. Is she coming on to him? This is hot. Can we talk about that movie that you were watching yesterday? I can't remember what it was. Oh my god. She thinks it's him. I'm just a girl. Oh my god. She's gonna eat the banana. What? I've been bad. What do you mean you've been bad? You. Oh, Jesus Christ, Susan, is that the last one? Oh <laughs> my God. Let him eat his bananas. Why are you taking my boy's bananas like that? Yeah? Monsters, what's up? Don't ask her for fucking sex advice. I guess who else was she gonna turn to? The fucking priest? I don't know, Ted. The tape you found. It's mine. No shot. Damn, she took the heat. Blair is like the best cousin ever, bro. She's just trying to preserve that free rent. I hope one day you'll find your Maddie. Ew, ew, ew. She just has to go to the fucking dog park to find her Maddie. Jesus Christ. Ew, <laughs> Jack. <laughs> they just got a can of beans. No <laughs> way Ted can play the harmonica. You saw he was balling earlier. He's a man of many talents. Good lord, look how you've grown. How'd you find us? Uh, harmonica music really carries. <laughs> what? <laughs> the actor was pissed that was the reason that she found it. Like, she was actually pissed off that was the, the canonical reason. I would never watch again. Even if it was everywhere, all the time. Even if I had, like, a weird little device in my pocket that would give it to me whenever I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> 
Everybody needs a best friend. friend. I'm happy I'm Ted, bro. I play Ted in this. In we this almost episode. never see that room, though. I'm gonna travel to Florida and. It <laughs> wasn't even a room. It was outside of the house. I don't think any of those jokes made it in the first fucking Ted video, bro. So shut the fuck up. Editor, put them in the goddamn video, dude. It's they don't funny. even get it. No one gets it. What the hell? Hey, what the fuck are you supposed to be? I'm the Hulk. Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> this is based. Bring me back to Boston in like 08 when they were doing this. This is way better than any Halloween party I've been to. <laughs> hey, you ever notice how the Hulk only talks about himself in the third person? I know, he's like Bob Dole. That kid will return. He's gonna kill them this episode. He, he comes back, he's like fucking roided. I thought you were gonna rent scary movies. I did. Walt Disney's Watcher in the Woods? What the f***? Chainsaws are lazy and obvious. This is cerebral. They're about to get fucked off a Disney movie, dude. D does Disney have scary movies? Is this cap or fax chat? Bro, he is shitting himself. No, 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 no I don't like this. This is not no. good. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. The reactions are crazy. No, no, no. Come on. Stop it. Come on. Stop it. Come yeah, once again, we are reacting to people reacting. Yeah, it's like, who reacts to the reactors? And we found out the answer. Sharon is conscientiously objecting to this costume party tonight, so I need a designated driver. Can you do it? Me? Ted can't drive a car. He's too short. Oh, he does drive in the movie, remember? And then he crashes, like, the first fucking scene in the movie. So you have a few drinks. Big deal. You know what nobody ever talks about with drunk driving? How fun it is. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yo, shout out drunk driving. You start drinking, bro, get that man some car keys. That's what I say. Why do you need to shower? <laughs> do you, does he sweat? In the last episode, he said he's not supposed to get wet. Seth MacFarlane is a hack, and this is not canon. I'm washing my bear parts. Get lost. There's no bear parts. Why is he wearing the goddamn towel? <laughs> oh my, he, he looks, looks so, so funny. good. me god this is such a shitty troll he should drive blair like she is asking so little for all she's done for them it's fucking blair you open that door she's gonna be right there with a fucking blindfold oh my god is he actually scared he's so paranoid i'll open the window she's gonna be there <laughs> oh my god she's the goat <laughs> all right god damn it wait ted's dressing up too that's my goat yo <laughs> He's an Ewok! And Ted, you're Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> Lawrence of Arabia. We're gonna miss the first round. Yeah, but that's just the little kids. Oh yeah, they're throwing eggs at children. He's like, bro, I got plans, man. I gotta throw eggs at children. So Ted gets to go to a college party. This is fucking awesome. That is kind of funny. Like, Ted didn't get excited at all about the prospect of going to a college party. Like, he did not want to go. He would much rather get high and throw eggs at children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of those is better than the other. Want a drink? I can't. I'm driving. Oh, too bad. I always wanted to do a shot with a teddy bear. Fuck it. I'm not driving yet. <laughs> how, how quick is this bear's metabolism? I always wanted to smoke weed with a teddy bear. Dude, he gets girls so easy. He did not even last 30 seconds. I always wanted to snort my ADHD meds with a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> I love the escalation, bro. Careful of the razor blades, all right? They're everywhere. Oh my gosh. She watches the news, bro. She watches the news. I hate those fucking those rumors, bro. Shut your bitch ass up. Let me eat my candy. Andy. Isn't it literally like that razor blades thing has only happened once? Moms are always too fucking paranoid, dude. Hey, mom, do we have any more chip? Take a long look, Johnny. What? <laughs> he did take a long look. He took a long look. You'd much rather walk in on your parents having sex than whatever the fuck was going on there. Yeah, no, I'm not getting in a car with you. Both promised Johnny would get me back in time for Egan. She's leaving the college Halloween party at 8.30. It, when the fuck did it start? It's supposed to start at like 8.30. What <laughs> party has she gone to? Yeah, they're getting fucking wasted at 7 p.m. Uh, Professor Damon, hi. Who's this now? The professor is seeing her. And who's Lawrence of Arabia? Here. <laughs> I love old people. Why don't you come up to the house for a minute? Whip us up a little caprese salad. What the hell is going on here? Is the professor trying to f to eat salad with your professor? Who the fuck cares? My latest work is a piece of historical fiction that examines race and class in 19th century New England. This is me being like, yeah, so we reacted to the Ted show today. It was one of the most exquisite reactions we did this week. Oh, when are you like that? No, well, I'm discussing wine with my, my colleagues. You're discussing I'm, wine with my colleague? Mmm, this Trolls movie was quite excellent. It, it evokes the best of James Joyce without feeling derivative. How'd you get inside my head? <laughs> 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 Honest Ted reaction. Ted is like, pissed. You know when I'm being hit on, okay? I have seven uncles. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, there's so much that comes with that line. As Boris said, with every goodbye, 
You learn. As Steinbeck said. Oh my god, just f already. Like I can't handle I can't handle this annoying these annoying pretentious fucking literary heads. Let's like have it sex with Oppenheimer, bro. Like, can we quit it with the quotes, bro? Like, I'm not trying to read while I'm fing you. Unless we're reading like Captain Underpants. Can you fucking watch the road? That was a red light. I see it. I just I I choose not to let it define. <laughs> That's a beautiful statement. It's always beautiful when the poetry comes out. That man is a brilliant writer. And what are you? A deadbeat teddy bear with a drug problem. Hey, at least I have a drug problem. <laughs> at least I have a drug problem. Why did you let him drive? <laughs> Cannot even. Oh my god, he crashed. Run. Hit and run. Just hit and run at that point. Just... Bro's about to get a DUI as a teddy bear. Can he really be arrested? John, this is Will, the boy I was telling you about. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Oh my oh. god, he's so old. This place is like a mansion. <laughs> I'm gonna go make you boy some spooky cookies. Ooh. This mother, she was lobotomized as a child. A little bit about myself. I work in quality control at General Mills. I'm the last line of defense between your mouth and rat feces. I hope you're good at your job. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of archetype of person is he? I own every Steely Dan album. I'm an expert dungeon master. Bro, I love Steely Dan. Why does this fucking General Mills rat feces guy have to like him as well? Every white guy in their 30s likes Steely Dan Jack, so join the club of, of white men in their 30s. All right, I'm joining them. You check this out. Oh my god, they're just fing. Oh my god, they're just fing. My mom won't let me look at the real stuff because of cigarette ads. He's got a lucrative career on uh, DVD. He's a pretty good artist. Him. Careful, McDonald's apple pies are always a little hot. <laughs> The McDonald's, they did not get the McDonald's sponsorship. They were gonna get a sponsorship from McDonald's, but Seth MacFarlane couldn't not make this joke. Well, probably cooled off by now, though. Oh, God damn it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, though. I don't know. Every time I've had an apple pie, they fucking do that shit. We're not too far from campus. Why don't we just walk back and use Damon's phone? Probably back there right now, boiling the cushion you sat on to make soup stock. <laughs> That's so specific. Ted's probably did something similar in his life. Ted's 10 years ahead of Gamer Girl Bathwater. Have you ever seen an old man piss? It, it's like a, a melted pint of coffee ice cream. There's a sadness to it. Ted has such a well-developed opinion on old man piss. He was in Hollywood, right? He was forced to see a lot. That's why he left. He had to run in with Harvey Weinstein and he was like, all right, I'm out. You like movies? Don't touch him. Both Blair and John are like dealing with the same issue, but in, in the same way, you know what I mean? Professor Damon, we're so sorry to inconvenience you like this. Not at all. I'm happy for the company. He's a lonely man looking for a lonely little cat, bro. Let her meow with him, Ted. Let her date a man that's like 30 years older than him. All right, buddy. You and me got to have a little talk. Uh, how about I freshen your drink first? He wants to f*** the bear. Is he going to roofie Ted? <laughs> He's running. Just run. Hello, Ted. <gasps> he wants you. Oh what? What? <laughs> Dude, he's the first furry. I want to make love to you. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you. You're furry. Furries have You're always furry. existed through all of human history. And he is rich. He's a rich professor. That's why he can afford the Ted fursuit. Blair's really into you. <laughs> Would care if you prefer or a bird with colorful plumage and a functioning cloaca. <laughs> and he's playing fucking bolero in the background. Hey, professor, do you mind if I use your bathroom? Blair. Bro, she got an A in this class, dude. She got an A in this class for the rest of her fucking tenure at uh, university, bro. And the homage to Tennyson, did that play at all? I <laughs> <laughs> Never meet your heroes, dude. This is like you go to furry con and then like you're talking to someone, they take off the fursuit and it's like your high school teacher. Keep this quiet. I have a reputation as a guy who... On one condition, you make Blair your research assistant. No way. I don't think she wants to work with him. Oh, and one more thing. We're gonna need your bike. Oh my god, it's E.T. <laughs> it's so <laughs> beautiful. It's beautiful. Dude, it all wraps together. That's so good. Oh, hi, Johnny. You want to feel some spooky eyeballs? Oh my goodness, the peeled grapes. Mom, can you get this sex offender out of here? <laughs> Even when you were still in my guts, you used to kick my cervix. The way the mother is written just makes me feel bad. I love her. She's so helpless. It's, it's like watching a puppy with broken arms or something. But she's forcing her son to hang out with a sex offender, bro. Like, what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? What? Who just comes over to somebody's house and gets in their tub? It's called making the most out of life. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Why is the water black? 
Carpe diem, Johnny. What the <laughs> fuck does that mean? When you see a chance to turn your day around, grab it. You know, this is a nice lesson, but he's naked and 40. Eggs? Ostrich eggs. Each one's about 24 chicken eggs. What the hell am I supposed to do with these? Oh my. Carpe diem sees the day. He's gonna oh, egg. He's gonna egg them with ostrich eggs. Resolution. God. Dude, he's about to clock a kid in the head and kill them. Those eggs are huge. Hey, who are you? The Dark Knight? I'm Batman. Ah! He's gonna knock a kid out. Olympic figure skater Scott Hamilton. Oh man, you're gonna have enough trouble. Keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> that kid looked like fucking Dewey from Malcolm in the Middle. Oh dude, he, they're gonna he's gonna throw it at them! Oh wait, E.T. Take this, you Reese's piece of shit! <laughs> 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 this is peak cinema. I was almost f***ed by a professor, but now I got a moped, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's one more thing I gotta do tonight. Oh my god, he's gonna scare the shit out of her. Help me! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> me and Johnny always think you're like this buzzkill, but tonight was kind of fun. Aw. She's like the summer of the show. A McDonald's apple pie? Yeah, yeah, I was saving it. It's all yours. I've had it in the freezer for two months, so it's probably cooled off by now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's still on fire. Can I help you? I'm Carol's son. I just got home from a party. My mom told me to come here and hang out with somebody named John. Wait, you're Carol's son? <laughs> my. Jesus! That was Jesus! Rock and roll all night. This show got better music than the Trolls movie. Can we talk about that? They're listening to the Guitar Hero 3 soundtrack right now. I want to rock and roll all night and pad of every day. Like, like they're only gonna rock and roll for like a portion of the day. This is the most <laughs> realistic high conversation ever. Holy shit, did we die? I was making his brownies. Now I'm not gonna know who the new stars are gonna be. He's literally the worst husband on the planet and she's just so stupid that it enables him so hard. It's such a terribly dysfunctional family. Spiders. Are you serious? So he can jerk <laughs> off a dog in Vietnam, but he can't touch a spider? Is that what I'm is that what I'm seeing right now? <laughs> well he didn't jerk off a spider. Maddie, is it alright? Ah, break a shot to hell. I'm gonna have to call a guy in the morning. Oh my god! He is the most pathetic man on the planet. It's okay, honey. We know you were scared of the spider. <laughs> no way. Oh, he's just gonna deny it the entire episode. It's more pathetic that he's pretending. I'm not scared of the goddamn spider, Susan. Dude, he jerked off a dog like three episodes ago. That's way more embarrassing. And I want to thank him for his service. God damn, God bless America. You guys need marriage counseling. Oh, fuck that. What's the matter? Are you scared of therapy too? Oh, oh it's on, shit. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> They're being entertained by their own parents drama right now well they're just so high i will pay for one marriage counseling session fine fine for the sake of something interesting happening this episode we're gonna go to marriage counseling did you get your pants from the lost and found yeah these pants are a little big wait this guy's still their teacher this guy's about to fucking d cry he kind of looks like a an american john oliver and now that i've moved back in with mother i have to ma Bait into the toilet because my bed squeaks. Why would you? <laughs> this guy needs to be fired. Everyone, please read pages 81 to 96. I'm kidding. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with the teacher heavy, bro. That's fucking hilarious, dude. Is he gonna get fired? That's my goat. Fuck you, Bobby Orr. Take your best shot. Oh, the Boston Bruins, as a Canadian, bro, these are our fucking direct enemies, bro. I was fucking with Ted until he had the Boston Bruins jersey. Dude. Ted probably doesn't even know that Canada exists yet, if we're being honest. That's why I fuck with him even less, dude. Hey, how'd it go? Good. It went pretty well. <laughs> Seems like it went pretty solid. He agreed with everything she said, and he took a shit on everything I said. If Dr. Feldstein's not neutral, then who would be? Dr. Fauci? Give us vaccines? Ted, look out! Dude, the dad is definitely an anti-vaxxer. There's no fucking question about it. I'm not shooting something in my fucking arm. Ted. Yeah, he's an even guy. Minds his own business, he's neutral. Minds his own business as he makes snide jokes over every single thing that happens. Everything is in his joke business. The suit wasn't necessary. Blair, please. Johnny is my best friend. Oh my god, he looks so good. Where are they finding these tailored clothes? The Hollywood money, bro. He still has his residuals, okay? What uh, originally attracted you to Susan? Her innocence. Oh, God. That's like the worst thing you could possibly say. So when we got there, Maddie realized that Godfunkel was a man. So we had to leave. What? <laughs> Why? 
Two men shouldn't be singing harmony. Harmonizing is gay. Well, two men harmonizing is gay. Uh, and he danced with me right there on the grass. You remember that? Of course I do. That's really cute. Even though he was homophobic, like, that was, like, the cutest homophobic boyfriend thing. Dude, it's Boston in the 90s. Like, 99% of people are homophobic, bro. Like, just deal with it. What did you study? Well, I, uh, I was gonna teach. She does give big teacher energy. She gives, like, preschool teacher energy. I mean, have you ever thought of going back to it? I think you'd be great. Oh, no. This is gonna be the moment where the episode just changes and then she becomes a teacher for like the last 20 minutes of the episode. Yeah. We just found out Susan has no identity outside this family. I mean, she's a wife, she's a mother. Depressed John Cutaway. John is gonna start listening to Linkin Park in like five minutes. This boy needs some therapy too. Somehow we gotta help her find her voice. I mean, we're the only ones that can do it. I like how Blair subtly changed it from being like couples therapy to just therapy for the mom. It's way easier to change Susan than it is to change Maddie. Maddie is so fucking impossible. Did you hear what happened to Mr. George? No, what? He got fired. No shit, why? Why? They caught him in the faculty lounge screaming at his own d That's what, not because he was yelling about <laughs> masturbating in front of that student. You're not gonna let me f I'm not gonna let you pee! <laughs> <laughs> ten son, ten! They're looking for a sub. Yeah, so? So what about mom? I love Susan. I think she's a great character. I don't think she's smart enough to teach at a high school level. I don't know if she's allowed to pick up on the cues, man. You hire her. And the next time there's an anti-drug assembly and they ask for questions, I will ask a question. <laughs> <laughs> like, who should I tell if I suspect a peer is on drugs? Oh my god, he's the greatest fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> they want me to take over for Mr. George. Is she, like, smart enough to, like, drive to school without getting lost? That's what I'm fucking saying, dude. Like, get her a fucking, like, job babysitting or something. I don't know, like... You're not embarrassed? To have your mother teaching your class? I already walk around school with my teddy bear. I think I'll be fine. <laughs> so self-aware, dude. Aw, she looks so happy. This is so nice. He's gonna fail school because of this, because she's gonna teach history and she's gonna teach them that 9-11 was an inside job. Oh my, she made it to school. Is all of the stuff she teaches gonna be really out of date, though? It's gotta blow up somehow. I'm a little new at this, so I hope you'll be patient with me. Bro, saying that, you're throwing the fish into the fucking piranha water. You cannot show any weakness. They're gonna kill her. My grandma has curtains in her bathroom, and I think that they might be the same pattern. What a funny coincidence. Leave her alone, Aaron. Yeah, some of us are here to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Leave her alone. Aren't you the guy who asked the question at assembly? No! <laughs> it's like you're tagged forever as the guy who asked the question at the drug assembly. Yeah, that ruins his reputation for the rest of the high school. So I figured this is a good time to tell you, we all know about the nose job you had last year. <laughs> oh my god! You didn't need to roast her like this. Well, you did. Never mind. Your dad is really your uncle, which may have subconsciously fucked you up and caused your eating disorder, which is also no secret because everybody's heard you throwing up in the bathroom. <laughs> Ted, you went too far. He's hitting too hard, bro. He's hitting too hard. This is not self-defense anymore, Ted. You fucking killed her. We don't do enough for Susan at home, so I felt obligated to say those things. <laughs> Jesus! Her life! But he is still the guy who said that shit at the assembly, though. I used to think my ears were too big. And then one day, I saw a picture in a magazine of a girl with a deformed ear. Oh my god. Where are you going with this? Someone was worse off than her, bro. Maybe I had more to be grateful for than I knew because at least I had both my ears. This is horrible advice. There's always someone worse off than you. Why is it horrible advice? It's like very basic good advice. Yeah, but this is just like, well, I understand you have problems, but there are children starving in Africa, so... <gasps> Would you like some chocolate milk? No. What? Who the hell says no to chocolate milk? She has an eating disorder. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay. Maybe it makes sense. <laughs> Next time, it's going to be even better. Blair, I'm not like you. You want something different out of life than I do. They all want her to be a girl boss. That's not her, bro. I mean, the best part of my day was helping that, that girl with the nose job. Oh, it's a terrible nose job. It's a terrible nose job. <laughs> <laughs> that poor actress, bro. That actress about to break down after this. I don't understand how that can be enough. I don't wanna. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to yell. She spoke up for herself. That's my goat. The character development. Okay. The women of Aunt Susan's generation can be happy with so little. I don't like those women either. 
They need to have more ambition like us. <laughs> As he looks at the fucking TV smoking his fucking blunt. I fucking love this show, dude. Oh my god. This is gonna be a thing, isn't it? That the three of us getting high. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, enjoy your new life. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy your new life. It's over. Yeah, she just joined the squad. Blair is the goat. We are often told that happily ever afters exist only in the pages of fairy tales. Can we talk about how we f***ed up the entire TED timeline? We started with the first movie, then we went back and watched half of the series as him as a child, and now we're watching the final thing in the chronological order of the TED franchise? Like, what are we doing? This was the intended watch order. The prequel series has actually been in development for like a decade. Do you, Tammy Lynn McCafferty, take this teddy bear to be your lawfully wedded husband? Ted's getting married? Let's f go, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, you're newlyweds. Hey, guys, you remember the plot of the last movie when Mark Wahlberg, like, fought really hard to be with his girlfriend the whole time? Well, prepare for something that's gonna happen. Could they not get her back? I don't know. I think she was filming other movies. She was, like, playing Nintendo and shit. They dropped Twilight Princess, and she was like, I'm busy. I, I gotta grind Twilight Princess. Oh, this is the most relatable scene in the film. To my fellow married people out there. I have to interrupt you or else I never get to fucking say anything. Are you gonna let me finish You're talking? You're always cutting me Are off. Are you gonna let me finish talking? You and the wife, bro. <laughs> you and the wife. You, yeah, this is so relatable. So cute. You and the wife. What the fuck did you just call me? Fuck I it. said what? what? Did you <laughs> <laughs> the domestic abuse. This is crazy. Ted is wearing the wife beater, but his wife is beating his ass. Shut the fuck up! Oh, for Christ's sake! I love Boston. Kick my ass! Hands if I up! Stop your sense of Shut the fuck up, Shut you up, stupid up, bitch! bitch. <laughs> 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 this is great. Hey, I'm really sorry. Yeah, me too. She's worse than us. Yeah, she's our enemy now. They united to hate the immigrant. That's just Boston's history. That's the Boston way, bro. See? I'll Google Grand Canyon. Here, look, it says, did you mean black car? <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking stupid joke. Oh my God. Oh, thanks, Allison, but I got, I got an early day tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, if you change your mind. Yo, this girl's hard flirting with Mark right now. She wants a taste of the lol burger. Can we talk about that? Sorry, Allison, I tried. <sighs> it's okay. I just wish he wasn't so goddamn cute. He's so hot. Why is Mark Wahlberg so hot? Why is Mark Wahlberg such a sexy little man? He signed the contract for Ted 2, but he's like, Seth MacFarlane, bro, I need you to make sure the girls say I'm cute in the film. <laughs> I mean, how the hell do you take a broken marriage and make it work again? Well... I tell you one way, you have yourselves a baby. That's such bad advice. Like, it's honestly fucking terrible advice. Um, have you tried it? Well, yeah, I've had several failed marriages, so. See, I think if we got a kid to love, it'll teach us how to love each other again. That's gonna wish upon a star for a penis. I feel like that'll be genius. When you wish upon a death. Let's make a baby. Let's make a baby. Let's build a baby. Let's build a bear. Holy shit, you? Yeah, yeah, we talked about it today. No one has asked the obvious question. Wait, guys, how, 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 how do you guys... How? Well, yeah, that's the thing. We, we, uh, we gotta find a sperm donor. Oh, there you go. Now, there here we go. go. Johnny, please, just help me do this, okay? He's the only guy in the world who's sperm is even close to Flash Gordon's. Like, if you just edit out Mark Wahlberg and Ted, this could just be like an ad for visitboston.com. Wait, is this whole movie just Ted and Mark on the quest for cum? No, 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 no. It's not the entire movie. It's just most of the movie. They need to get good semen. Yeah, can I help you? Oh, it's Tom Brady. Tom Brady does such weird shit with his son. Like, I feel like they could just ask him for his sperm. Hey, go, go, go. This is so fucked up. They are about to r Tom Brady. What the fuck? Take the damn raincoat off. It's making too much noise. Piss off. I don't want to get any shits on me. This is a fucking Paddington reference. When they're going to jerk off Tom Brady in his sleep. Head is basically Paddington rated R. You're an adult with a poster of this guy in your fucking room. You're telling me you don't want this? Yeah, I want it. This movie feels very different from the first one. Sweet God and baby Jesus. How does Tom Brady get casted for this role? We need you to get jerked off by Mark Wahlberg in our movie. What the hell? Mr. Brady, we just need a moment of your time. Seriously, you would call a cut? Oh, oh, he just threw him off his balcony. And they didn't even jerk off Tom Brady. I mean, besides, we just broke into Tom Brady's house and tried to jerk him off. 
You're ready to be a parent. That's beautiful. The logic there is beautiful. I love it. What are you doing to your hand? I'm doing this for you. I'm getting ready. You, you gotta go in and perform. You, you got your hand on your d What are you doing? I'm trying to get it half hard so when I get in there, I can just bust it out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's terrifying. Like, I'm about to jerk off. I don't want to see pictures of babies everywhere. Why is there babies everywhere? Do I just spit my hand or do I get like a lube or something? A magazine? A video I like Asian teen stuff preferably. There's a lube. <laughs> Asian teen stuff preferably. Oh, hey, Doc. Is this is this where you guys store all the uh, stuff? <laughs> He's just going to charisma his way in right now. Oh, my god. Dancer. <laughs> Whatever, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like when he commits so hard and then he's insecure. It's so good. It's like, oh, I don't, I don't know. Is that something? Is that something? How'd you get into this line of work? Do you, do you just love c I did not anticipate how much of this movie would be about c Excuse me, I'll be right back. You want to see it? What the fuck is about to happen? Something is about to happen in this movie. Dude, take a closer look. It's your kid. No, 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 no. Oh, oh my God. Get oh, me out of here, bro. Get me out of here. Catch. What the? Oh, shit. They're throwing <laughs> the goon scene. I don't know. That's not going to work. You need two of them. You got to scoop one into the other. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. God. Oh, my <laughs> God. God. I'm afraid this isn't going to work out. What? Why not? Why not? Is it because we both work at a grocery store and also because I am a teddy bear? Ted, in the eyes of the state, you are not a person. Here's the plot of the movie, dude. Here's the plot of the movie. Ted has to fight for his rights, bro. bro he's got to start a fucking civil rights movement. I'm sorry. But that is so fucked up. Property? This movie, like, is way stupider than the first one, but it's also way more serious than the first one at the f same time. It's really, it's a bit of a mess. Like, five minutes ago, Mark Wahlberg was covered in cum, and now he's covered in metaphorical cum. I can't legally keep you on as an employee because I've been informed that you're technically... Technically not a person. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I find this insane, though, because, like, how did he go under the radar when he was, like, famous Teddy Bear? He went on, like, talk shows and everything. But until he started, like, filing for adoption is, is when they're like, fuck this Teddy Bear. We gotta fight it. What do you mean? I mean, we get a lawyer. Oh my God, can we do that? <laughs> can we do that? You know what, we get out there and we stick it to him good. We'll take that shit all the way up to Judge Judy if we have to. The highest. She wants the world, to be honest. Judge Judy's even higher than like Brett Kavanaugh, bro. Let's be honest. <laughs> Is Mark Wahlberg wearing the same fucking outfit the entire movie? Like, I don't think he's changed clothes. You know, I believe his character would do that. Hello? Oh, fuck. He's gonna f*** the lawyer. I was about to say, like, obviously he's gonna get with this girl. Like, that's the obvious natural progression. What? What are you guys talking about? Yeah, I mean, we can't just rush in anything. We gotta make sure we're making the right decisions. Yeah, so. we really appreciate your time, but I think what we're- <laughs> Based, what? <sighs> Reminds me of the strain I smoked last summer called Here Comes Autism. <laughs> <laughs> and you, my friend, are an oppressed minority. She just said Ted is an oppressed minority. He's officially a minority. I liked Ted until they, they started putting woke politics in it. Why are they having like a romantic montage while they embark on the fight for Ted's personhood? Th these are his basic human rights that he's fighting for and they're just treating it like it's a little play day. End the montage! I don't want to see this anymore. You always have something new to complain about, Jack. Your name is Toby. You're going to learn to say your name. Let me hear you say it. Oh, Ted's gonna love all the slave movies. Kunta Kinte. That's just like me. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like me, for real, for real, dude. Yes. Oh my god, that My Little Pony statue. How much? How much, bro? Name the price. Any price. Dude, Pinkie Pie is gonna get a different kind of pie soon, bro. She's looking like that. Jack, no, Pinkie's married? I don't fucking care. Yeah, dude, he's a home wrecker. I'm a barn wrecker, bro. I'll fuck any horse that I fucking please, dude. She's married to Weird Al. What? Pinkie Pie had cannon sex with Weird Al and has a child with him. I don't want to know anything else about My Little Pony. I thought that's enough for today. If, if we could if we could cut him open to see what makes him tick, we could manufacture millions of Ted's for every child in the world. If they bring this guy back? Yeah, this is the guy from the first movie. Now, what exactly do you want from this? Mr. Jessup, I'm not interested in money. I just want the Pinkie Pie statue. I just want a giant jar and that Pinkie Pie statue. <laughs> They're so horribly unprepared for this court case. They fucking smoked weed like 90% of the time they should have been preparing. She's on her grind though. 
Teddy, I'm scared. Baby, we're gonna be fine. He looks so good in the suit, though. Ted looks better than, like, Joe Biden in a suit, man. That is why we've been working so hard. That's Shep Wild. <laughs> Shep Wild? That sounds like a fake villain in, like, Powerpuff Girls. I am Shep Wild. Does your dog deserve human rights? Your cat? Your toaster? <laughs> That's me. I'm part of the court and I am chuckling. I think the brave little toaster does deserve human rights. He was brave as hell, bro. He's braver than most people. I am Samantha Jackson. And I gotta be honest with you. I'm... I'm a little nervous. Boring. This movie's boring. Like, am I wrong? This is as boring as actual court is. Court is boring. And forget about the most important aspect of this case. Boo! Get off the stage! Where's the cop? Woman, I need to see come on Ted's face. As a big Ted head, I just feel like you guys aren't taking this seriously. This really, like, emotionally, s you know, stayed with me very strongly. How would you categorize your relationship with Ted? Lovers. We're lovers. He's way more of a person than lots of other people. I mean, fucking Steven Tyler? What the fuck is that? Some kind of weird soccer mom looking goonie monster? I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it. Steven Tyler does look like a fucking freak. He's spinning. When and where did you first encounter Ted? Well, what do you mean? My parents got him for me when I was a kid. Aha, they got him. They adopted him from the Build-A-Bear workshop. <laughs> Technically, you do adopt Build-A-Bear, so it's like adopting a child. All right, this court is trying to tell me that I'm not as good as other people. And this is exactly what you've been doing to the f Ted. And I said, sorry, sorry, the homos, the homos. This is a, <laughs> <laughs> a step. It's a step in the right direction. We deserve respect. Ted, shut up. Fine. <laughs> what is he playing? That's Angry Birds. That's the Angry Birds soundtrack. Do you believe you have a soul? What did you think? Objection, your honor. Overruled. Yo! <laughs> this is the coolest fucking judge of all time. The bear products are affixed with an electronic device in the chest, which can be programmed to say any one of five phrases. They're not allowed to touch him. Object. <laughs> That's disgusting. Don't make him do that in the courtroom. That's how he loses the case. Well, the music's dramatic, so yeah, I think that's kill what kills the case. That's so fucked up. What is taking them so long? Dude, this movie is so slow paced all of a sudden. The fucking structure of this movie baffles me. We went from GTA 5 with Kyle Mod, and now we're doing like Phoenix Wright. Who the fuck was begging for the Ted courtroom drama? Um, in the case of Ted versus the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, we, the jury, find for the Commonwealth in that Ted is not a person. What? Bailiff, smack his nuts. And will be recognized in the term set by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Okay, who gives a shit if you can't work at a grocery store? Just become a Twitch streamer overnight. Ted would pop off as a YouTuber. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna call Patrick Megan. Who's that? He is the top civil rights attorney in America. Why didn't they do that in the first place? The black cocks. Oh my god. Guys, you thought the black cocks joke was over, but it's gonna continue. It's not funny or relatable. What isn't relatable? Are you not looking at black cocks? Well, yeah, I'm looking them up directly. He said he'll meet with us on Friday at 9 a.m. at his office in New York. Is he gonna take the case? I don't wanna jinx it, but I think so. But you're on the phone with him for like 20 seconds. I don't know, like. This movie's such a mess. This movie is a fucking mess of a, like a story. Like the other movie was like centered around a relationship. It was pretty simplistic. I think the civil rights thing is interesting and is a good premise. I just think it should have been more focused on that. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. If you wanna run with me, your brother in the front seat, you know. If Ted came out in 2018, bro, you know he would be with James Corden and they would crash the car, bro. Ted would like kill James Corden in the car. He'd be doing us a public service. This is perfect. Oh my god, Matt Pat. That's just the theory. A Ted theory. Let's try to keep her boyfriend under control here, yeah? Oh, he's not my boyfriend. Oh. Good. No, Bro, like shot. every woman in this movie. Hey, oh, what a no, fuck you. I'm just trying to shot. fuck the shit out of Mr. Payne and Gain over here, bro. I've been kicked around a lot this week. I just I want to feel useful, you know? 20 minutes behind the wheel. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. Ah, shit, shit, shit. Maybe Ted shouldn't be a person. He's almost killed people. 
No fucking way, bro. What the fuck is this movie about? This movie's fucking nonsense. There's so much going on in this goddamn movie. This is fucking Ted too many plot lines. You were wrong. You were wrong yeah. to do that. Um, but, you know, that and the trial are the only two things you fucked up. Is this the second act low point? What the hell? What a perfect marijuana leaf. <laughs> it is gorgeous. That is the most beautiful weed I've seen in my life. Bizarre. Not the Jurassic Park theme. This is like old white people stumbling into a vineyard. No, this is old white people walking into the Cracker Barrel, bro. Dude, your grandma when she stumbles upon a pack of Werther's Originals, bro. Please tell me that's not the only bong you brought on this trip. Oh my god, the this bong is awesome. That shit is hard. If we get out of here by dawn, we should be fine, right? She's gonna play guitar for him. You know what I mean? We're doing a lot against gender stereotypes. Women can be talented as well. I don't think so. <laughs> the song's making him gay. Are you gonna kiss right in front of Ted? Me you wanna c in my teddy bear? Oh my god, this is hot. Yes! He likes it though. That's an awesome <laughs> picture. So I wanna be the, my Discord profile picture, holy shit. You know that the, the Discord e-dating couple with the Ted p***s picture and the Mark Wahlberg c picture? Like, <laughs> dude, I need that, I need that bad. There's a lot of musical breaks in this movie. Like, he has no idea how to switch in between scenes without it just being music and scenic shots. Patrick Wiggins got a classy setup, huh? Mm. <laughs> How strong are his boots? And he's still wearing the same clothes. Ah, Miss Jackson, do come in. Morgan Freeman's in this movie? Wait, that's the guy from the 21 Savage album. I've been reviewing your file. And while I'm sympathetic to your cause, I'm sorry to say I won't be taking your case. What? They drove like a day to get here and they said no. Like, why couldn't you do it over the phone? I'm sorry you were... Not who I hoped you'd be. Damn. I can't believe she would do that to Morgan Freeman. Oh, oh, that, oh, that's great. That's fucking great. I'm glad you guys are so happy. What? What do you mean, what? I'm totally screwed here, and you're sitting there basically banging my lawyer. <laughs> you were begging for it, Ted. And remember, you're the one who's been pushing me to get back on the horse. I finally meet someone, and you're giving me shit for it? Oh, no, no, you're right. No, Johnny, it's fine. You're right, it's fine. Second act low point, kind of. More like the second act slow point. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry, bro. Oh my god, he's gonna find his place at Comic-Con. Comic-Con, New York Comic-Con. This is the scene where we soy jacket all the awesome cosplays that we see. Oh my god, is that a white woman? White woman! Hey, are you Ted? Uh, yeah. You guys wanted us to watch more TMNT? Well, here it is. Here it is, there's Rise of TMNT. Okay, why are we doing this back here? Well, you're a celebrity. I just don't want you to get mobbed when people recognize you. Yeah, that's true. I've been mistaken for an Ewok three times today. The foreshadowing, because he dresses up as an Ewok for Halloween in the TED show. Dude, this movie is beautiful. This, see, this is why you watch it in this order. I have some big plans for you, Ted. Very big plans. I feel like his hair is completely different. He's getting like the fucking E-boy. Yeah, he has that Wonka, Timothy Chalamet cut right now. Yes, it's him. It's... Oh, shit. <laughs> couldn't run with the phone? Why did he drop it? Dude, the phone probably weighs like just as much as him. That's a lot of cargo to be taken if you're Ted. And, and Ted's trying to cut down on his screen time, so like he didn't want to be on the phone for that long. Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. Fuck! <laughs> what a fucking goofy. <laughs> it's too good. It's too catchy of a song. You son of a bitch, this is kidnapping! No, it's not. They're doing surgery on a bear, bro. Let's be honest. Listen, I don't want to die, okay? So, uh... What if I gave you a job outside your pants while you ate an ice cream? He's so tempted. Dude, he's so tempted. They're about to announce a new Superman. The new Superman is Jonah Hill. Fuck! They announced Jonah Hill as Superman? That clip is so funny. I watched it so many times. Get away from you, bastard. Ted, you okay, buddy? Oh, Johnny, thank God. I'm out. <laughs> he just leaves. You're on your own, Danny. I can't be implicated in any of this. Wait, wait, wait. Who are you? I work for Mattel. <laughs> <laughs> what a genius. What a fucking genius, dude. In the eyes of the world, I'll, I'll always be property. But you know what? Who gives a shit? 
He's about to start his Ted Bundy arc. I would love like a true crime Netflix series, but on Ted Bundy, it's like a whole parody of Ted Bundy, but it's just Ted instead. Oh my god. <laughs> my machinima! Dude, you see machinima? No way there was machinima, dude. What a relic of the past. This movie is so dated, that's insane. Somebody call 911, Johnny. John, come on, stay with me, pal. I can't believe we're doing this shit, bro. This is literally like a kid's movie. When they have the fake out death. Johnny, wake up. <laughs> he died, dude. Johnny, are you okay? Johnny, are you okay? Are you okay, Johnny? We've done everything we can, and it's all up to him now. Okay, now they see Ted is sad, and they have to agree he's a real person. That's so true. Random boost. They killed him, bro. That's so funny. <laughs> Who's gonna cook my Wahlburgers now? Who, how am I gonna get my fucking fix? I can't believe they do this, dude. Like, does anyone actually think Mark Wahlberg is going to die in Ted 2? Like, are we really doing this right now? I don't know. There isn't a Ted 3. Maybe he does die. Ted 3, Mark is dead. I'm sorry. Um, he didn't make it. He's doing like a pog face. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg is dead? If you'd like, you can go in and... Say your goodbyes. Why would I say goodbye to him? He's dead. True. You know it's sad when they play the quiet piano. How are you guys not crying right now? I swear to God, I just saw his lips move slightly. I swear to God. Mark Wahlberg died for this role. He literally died on set and they used his corpse. He was legally dead for 30 seconds for this role. <laughs> <laughs> on the first movie. This is just the same movie again, but worse. True. I just won the bullshit comedy blue ribbon. You are the fucking greatest, man. Holy shit. <laughs> You're the goat. <laughs> How long was that set up for that payoff, bro? That was like five minutes, dude. Do you know how devastated I was? I put a frowny face on Facebook. How am I supposed to explain that to everybody? What are these Facebook references? How about in a relationship with John Bennett? This is the corniest shit ever. This shit's cornier than The Notebook, bro. This shit's cornier than Ted 1. This shit's cornier than fucking Ted Bundy's murders. I'm happy to see everyone has made a full recovery. What? Is he just God? Like, is he God? It could just be like Bruce Almighty where he is, he, he is just God. As far as I'm concerned, anyone who can inspire that kind of love in another person deserves to be called human. He sounds so bored. Doesn't Morgan Freeman sound extremely bored? I, I forgot I was watching a movie, I'm gonna be honest. I thought I was just being lectured by an old person again. Like, it's just the yapping didn't cease. What defines a person? This is the actual court case, and they're gonna do it in like 20 seconds really quickly. What's the difference? The difference is I'm Morgan Freeman. I have a deep, cool voice, and therefore, I, my opinion is correct. That's actually true. That's actually how it works. As the Emancipation Proclamation and the 13th Amendment did so many years ago. All they needed was a black lawyer. You enslaved my people, you cannot enslave my teddy bear people. He doesn't say anything else, he's just like, if you don't vote for my side, you're racist. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah, I wish it kept the same comedic vibe throughout the movie, because it's Ted 2. It is Ted. It is a talking teddy bear that smokes weed with Mark Wahlberg. 50% of the movie is this, like, dramatic court case about Ted's, like, humanity. It's really weird. They could have merged the two together, like, funny and dramatic, but it just feels like it's whiplash between the two. I still think the movie's really funny, but it, it definitely could have been better. Editor, keep, you better fucking keep that in, I swear to God. Will you marry me? Yes. I take the criticism away. This was an amazing ending. Johnny, meet your new godson, Apollo Creed Clubalang. How do they adopt a kid, though? To adopt a child, you need so much fucking money. Oh my god, you can buy that now at Walmart. Oh my god. I actually did buy a, a Ted plushie off of Amazon a couple days ago. No way, dude. You're so awesome. I love how you spend your money. Hashtag shit happens. <laughs> They did not- That was such a family guy joke. They closed out on a fucking baby shit joke, bro. Are you fucking kidding me, Ted? Maybe it's good they didn't make a third one. These cookies look like shit, dude. She hasn't put the icing on yet, bro. Got her some slack. She's gonna make those awesome frosted cookies that you see at Walmart at the front of the store. Dude, I swear to God, the last time we talked about those cookies, you said they sucked. So you switch up like that, it's fine. But like, I said they suck. I love them. You are merging me and Jack. You know, I never understood that word. What word? Homophobe. 
it's prejudice against gay people. Yeah, but like, shouldn't it mean like scared of gay people? Yeah, yeah, phobia. God, I can feel the writer's room right now. This is genius, bro. Dude, Ted fell off, bro. Shut what? This up, is funny. Dude. This is funny. What do you mean? <laughs> Wouldn't I see a gay guy and be like, ah, a gay guy, run! This is what I do. Like, this is what makes it relatable. You know what I mean? <sighs> so, Bollywood. Say you guys? You guys did pretty good with that Bollywood stuff. That uh RR movie? That was gas, bro. I really enjoyed it. Try to name another Bollywood movie Maddie. challenge. Maddie, Susan has a choir solo today. I'll be at the next one, alright? I promise. Jesus, it's 45 fucking minutes. You can't do this for her? Are they not a gay couple? Like the beret is screaming lesbian to me right now. I don't know. I think that might be where it's going. Definitely not because I saw spoilers. Oh my god! Core ruins the Ted show for his friends. Part 600. Man. It's been in our basement for years. Yeah, but I've had him since I was a kid. That means a lot to me. You named your dump truck Dennis? Keep my truck's name out your mouth. <laughs> Yeah, and Tiny Tim's condition was pre-existing. Scrooge shouldn't have to cover it. Exactly. Can I play with a truck? No. Oh. Everybody fucks with this truck too much. It's a nice truck, to be fair. It's a fucking fire truck. Oh, church time, bro. Is this what a Christian church is like? I've never been. It's boring. It's boring as fuck. I am not feeling Jesus in me right now. Where's the Texas mega church people hanging from the ceiling and the guy getting carried in on a wire system, dude? You're talking about a guy who came alive out of nowhere, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, me. Oh my god, he's equal to Jesus. I'm just saying, I'm just saying I might be Jesus. I might. I'm, I'm not saying for sure, I'm just saying it's a possibility. I, I, I might be Jesus. That is incredibly disrespectful. He sounds like too much of a real, like, preacher. All the churches I went to growing up look like this guy. He's he's up late thinking of Dennis, bro. That's hot. No way. He actually is, I think. Wait, is this just going to turn into a fucking, like, Scrooge parody? He's going to see a star and he's going to go, I wish my daughter wasn't gay. <laughs> hey! You wished me to life, fuckface. I can't fucking believe it. That's fucking amazing, dude. I'm trying to understand how this episode's gonna come together. What's mean? Is the lesbian couple just played straight? Well, I would hope that's not played straight. <laughs> <laughs> it also felt like I had to pee, but I couldn't. Yep, same here. Must be what happens when toys come to life. <laughs> what? It's a regular event. Bring these to the priest, bro. The priest is gonna have a mental breakdown. Like, if you wish upon a star, you can bring someone back to life. So they could just bring, like, a Jesus, like, toy, and then the priest could wish upon the Jesus toy to come to life. Be fucking genius. Look at this. They're giving free visas to tech workers. Oh, fucking A. They're coming. Who? Immigrants. <laughs> Racist truck toy. Now the niece just has to argue with two people. Hey, I don't care if they're purple, green, or orange, all right? I just don't want them black, brown, or yellow. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. The truck's even more racist, bro. He's even more racist. I am used to taking this crap from Maddie, but I'm not gonna take it from some random piece of shit that just came to life. No offense, Ted. All good. Ted's like, I'm not racist, bro. Like, you don't gotta include me. What? Wait, the gay people that were definitely gay are gay? What? Wait, she's gonna- No way, no way she- Oh. Stop watching them, little bro. She's raising an eyebrow like The Rock. Why is she coming in? Why is she coming in? Is she gonna join them, bro? Why was she giving them the eye like that? We're a couple. Yeah. Like, dating. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're just very good friends. Her brain is really good at rewriting things to be what she wants them to be. Once you get a lobotomy, your brain just allows yourself to do that. It's like a pa it's a superpower. God, why does she close the door like that? Just close it, man. Oh my god, it's like creepy, dude. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give- What, what was that first part? Uh, behold, I come quickly. Jesus said that? <laughs> Behold, <laughs> I come quickly. It's like the easiest joke. See, why are we watching TV shows? We could just be roasting the Bible for like 50 episodes. Yeah, let us know if you want the Spilling the Milk Bible reading. Spilling the Milk Bible class every Sunday. Hey, you know, I hope the PC thought police over at that college don't kick you out for praying to Jesus. You know, 70% of the world doesn't even believe in Jesus. I'll get him. <laughs> I'll get him, bro. Uh, I'll get him. I believe in Ted. Sarah and I are a couple. Call it, Johnny. Motherfucker. <laughs> they bet on it. Of course they fucking knew, dude. You're gay? Fluid. 
What the hell does that mean? It means that I'm attracted to personalities. You're attracted to personalities and you picked her? <laughs> <laughs> That's base. You gotta give him that one. That was pretty good, Dennis. And I'm so sorry that our sexual orientation is so offensive to everyone. Merry fucking Christmas. And a happy new year. And a happy gay year. I just think it's really fucking shitty and unfair that you can't accept me for who I am. Hey, it's Christmas Eve, not Christmas Steve. <laughs> Bro. Bro, in the middle of the sad fucking gay talk, it's so much more serious than the Ted movie. Cut from this to Mark Wahlberg covered in c Like, how is this the same franchise? He knocked like 20 more times than he needed to to get her attention. He's standing right next to the window. That's just who he is, though. He's over the top. He's like Haikyuu, bro. One dream. That's fucking One Piece. What are you even talking about? But I'm not I'm not one of those guys like your truck that you made come to life <laughs> I'm not like one of them trucks. I don't want to be a shitty uncle I'm sorry damn that's real Ted gets too real dot dot dot. This is a really good episode. You're you're invited to Christmas And, I, and I, I'm sorry that I called you a terrorist. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you Well, what about Dennis? Are they all gonna kill Dennis? They're gonna be him to death? They should like melt him down into a plastic, turn him into a water bottle and drink out of him. Ah! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> He's tried to kill Maddie. He just home alone his bitch ass. What the fuck are you trying to do? Kill me? I come to life for you and this is the thanks I get. Bro, this is the thanks, the thanks I, I get. get. I have thoughts of men. No way. The truck is gay? You're saying I'm gay. Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> this show is fucking mental. Dude, Seth MacFarlane's a genius, bro. <laughs> that, that hug looks so uncomfortable. It's like made of like sharp, hard edged metal. Like that cannot be pleasant. So I guess this is it. Yeah. They're sending him on a gay rite of passage, okay? He's going on like a gay Mormon mission, bro, to find the best dick in the land. Goodbye, Bennett. Oh the my god, he has the LGBT flag! Honk if you're gay, bro. Honk if you're gay. A recording studio. Be a star. Oh, because he's so good at singing. I figured you, you could sing. You know, you solo. Oh my goodness. Aw, that's so sweet. He's come so far. Accepting gay people will fix your marriage is the lesson of today's episode. Is that true? Okay, okay I'll stop. I'll start hating gay people. To break up with your wife? My wife, she's been a little annoying lately. Mother and child. This show is wholesome. The movies were pretty wholesome too. They never reached anywhere near this level of seriousness. All right. We have come to the final unit here in health class, sexual education. They end on a sex ed episode? Is Ted gonna lose his Ted Ginity? Who can tell me what the safest of all is? None. Celibacy. No sex, no sex. Let's start with the female reproductive system. It's science. It's science. It's, it's, science. Science. it's, it's literally, literally a science. science. That was like sex ed for babies. Talk about Masturbation and leave out edging? <laughs> what? When? With who? A few weeks ago, with each other. We didn't want to be the last ones in school to lose our virginity. No, oh. no, John! <laughs> Andrew, I thought you were gay. Might be. I just know I'm not a fucking loser. This is too real. Like, oh god, I'm actually cringing out my fucking skeleton right now. Dude, do you guys think John's gonna fuck? The, the hot girl who gave them the Shit, weed in the first episode? Um, no. No? No. No. Fuck, I've never even kissed anybody. You kissed Michael Dukakis at that parade when you were nine. Yeah, that doesn't count. He kissed me. It was passionate enough that they ran it in the paper. What? What the fuck? What kind of paper is that, bro? Who is Michael Dukakis? Michael Dukakis is the former governor of Massachusetts. The governor kissed him on the mouth? What a crazy joke. Well, I, I think he's interested in becoming Really active. What do you mean? Why do you have to have this conversation? The mom probably doesn't even know what s is. Guys, there's nothing shameful about human sexuality. You've never been in a strip club when the lights come on. And neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> when you're older, 
You're gonna have your first time. Why are they play this show so straight? I'm surprised. I want it to be better than my first time. God, no, please don't. It was 19. Please, please, oh please my tell God. us. My God. We need to hear this. We need to hear it. Yeah. He was too upset. He just kept yelling, the hippies have won. The hippies have won. They've won. They've won. I hope this helped. <laughs> the hippies have won, bro. That is a terrifying fucking scene. He's saying that like the British are coming. Got it. Oh, hell yeah. All right, go on, put it in your bag. Hey. Oh my god, dude, they took his weed, bro. No, oh my god. Oh shit, John. Holy shit. Dude, what, a, what a guy will do for his weed, bro. Why would you be wearing the most conspicuous bright red hoodie if you're planning to steal something? No, I was just reacting in the moment. It's not that big a deal. No, that took guts. It, that's what Mark Wahlberg would do, though. Because if Mark Wahlberg was on that 9-11 plane, he would have stopped that shit. He would have done something, bro. Would you maybe want to hang out? See a movie or... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. This is how it happened to me. It's the same way it happened to me. You fucking tackle the guy for weed and a woman instantly came up to you? Exactly, exactly. Johnny, look at the big picture. This is your chance to have sex. Well, you think so? She called you cool. Oh my god, he's such a bad influence. Don't give him expectations, bro. You're not supposed to have any expectations because then that's all you're going to think about. Maybe these? Ribbed for her pleasure? Good choice. And you want to know a trick? You turn it inside out and steal the pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> steal her pleasure. That's the greatest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. No, actu actually, we, would, we were just leaving. Oh, please don't go. One of the joys of my job is pairing the right young man with the right c With the right c Get away from him! This is so weird. I hate to say this, but I think this is chill for him. Hey, you! Get away from that kid! This guy is a sex offender, bro. Dude, this is the second time that John has been like with an adult, bro. That's fucking insane. Trust me, all right? Now take it off. Okay. Dude, I swear to God, they be making bras complicated on purpose just to embarrass men, bro. I, I saw one and it had a fucking combination lock on the back, bro. The chastity belt. All right, now let's pretend you're a Randy executive and I'm your secretary. Go! Mr. Bennett! Dude, head in the bra is fucking hot, bro. Head looks hot with the bra. Uh, hi. What the hell are you doing in my bra? The question is, what am I still doing in your bra? <laughs> yeah, if I may count it, John has been himself for 16 years and raked in exactly zero... Am I getting that number right, John? Zero? Yeah, yeah, zero. I think... I think I'm gonna do it Ted's way. No! <laughs> no! 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 That's not what Frank Sinatra said. I did it Ted's way. Teddy, we're missing something here. What? How am I even supposed to get to the set if she doesn't have a good time? I mean, I haven't even planned the fucking date. <laughs> Dude is doing everything backwards. This is gonna be such a funny train wreck. Where's John? He awaits you on your flying carpet. <laughs> what? This has got to be a cutaway gag. This has got to be a cutaway gag. No, no way, it's real. Way, it's dude. not a cutaway gag. I have kind of weird taste in movies. Like what? There's this really good bad movie from the early 80s called Flash Gordon. Yes. No way. It's a dream. It's a dream. It's a dream. It has to be a dream. Oh, shit. Girl, it's oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Johnny, Johnny, you alright? Talk to me. Did I say <laughs> Did I say sex? Really How are you feeling now? Not too bad, actually. My arm is a little No. Him. That's the principal in iCarly. Principal Franklin. That's Principal Franklin, bro. Son, this isn't my first night in the ER. I saw the carpet burns. I know when kids have been a whole new worlding. <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing? It's a thing? I was supposed to go to the prom with Danny Hirsch, but his acne has reached a point where I need to take action. Would you maybe want to go? You're dumping your date because his acne is bad? That's fucked. That's the most beautifully superficial thing I've ever heard in my life. That's so evil. You are looking at a guy with a whole lot of experience. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm still sore from yesterday, you know? <laughs> Oh. You fumbled it so badly. She asked you to prom, bro. This sounds like a good, like, I'm going to try this next time I want to get ask a girl out. I'll be your driver, bro. Can you be my Aladdin? Okay. You can be Jasmine. <laughs> I'm sure you've got lots of other girls who'd love to go with you. Maybe you ask one of them. Sorry. 
Wow, your gay cousin was fucking right, you dumb fucking bitch. Go over there tonight, stand on her lawn, and declare your love for all the world to hear. That will definitely end very well. Yeah. I like that they just skipped that scene. They spared us the cringe. I, I appreciate Seth for that. I was very grateful. This isn't just about sex, okay? How many times do I have to stand here and tell you I really like her? You said that like once, maybe. You said this right now. Maybe it was like an off-screen type of situation. If you want to go to the prom, you can do it without me. This is very much like the second act low point in the first Ted movie. No, it isn't. He's kind of blaming Ted. No, no. That was evil. What you just did was evil. That was genuinely evil. No, it's not. No, I'm not. 9 11. Not, what's 9 plus 10? 21. Skibbity toilet. Skibbity toilet. I'm not. We get it. 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 There are no junior proms when you're an adult. You miss this one, that's fucking it. The rest of your life is spending all day breaking your back and all night standing at a toilet peeing in Morse code. Peeing in Morse code is a bar. Good dad moment. He basically just said the pain you are experiencing now is some of the most pretty shit. It's inconsequential to what you will feel for the rest of your life. No prom looked this good. What are you talking about, bro? Looked like Connor Eats Pants was in the fucking middle of the dance floor for a second there. Oh my god, he makes his appearance for his acting debut. He looks like he could be like a high school background actor. You know what I mean? Like, it's true. He's short, he's got a baby face. He should be in the show. I'm really sorry for laying into you like that. No, man, I'm sorry. I fucked things up between you and Bethany. I should have just kept my big mouth shut. Oh my god! I should have just canceled Big Mouth before it got eight seasons. It doesn't have eight seasons, it only has seven core. It's getting an eighth season, is it not? Who cares? Hi. So Dude, he should just start rapping J. Cole wet dreams word for word right now. And then he just say that he was a virgin. Like So you lied to me? Well yeah. I'm sorry. How do I know you're not lying now? I'm not. I'm not, I swear to God. He's gonna be like, yo, DJ, put on the entire Flash Gordon filmography right now. I need that mic. I got something to say. Sorry, it's against the rules. Unless it's for true love. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Why? Why does it work like that? What's the rules? Just have a real quick question. Who here has had sex with me? <laughs> I was too embarrassed to admit it until tonight, but it's the truth. This is so painful. This is so painful. I bet there are more of you out there just like me. So let's stop being embarrassed and let our voices be heard. Who out there is a virgin? Virgin and proud, virgin and proud. No one, no one raised their hand. <laughs> Nerd! <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. Oh, yeah, it was pretty stupid. Yeah, very stupid. That's exactly what Flash Gordon would do. It is badass though he would do that. He did embarrass himself in front of the whole school for her. That it took guts. I love guts from Berserk. I could be your Casca. Wait, you're a virgin too? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think I believe you. Is he gonna make her go up there? <laughs> <laughs> This show is so wholesome, bro. I can't believe this, bro. It is beautiful. It is wholesome. Ted is too wholesome, bro. The Ted finale made us cry. Of course, start crying now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cry after the recording. Do you have a con? Yeah, yeah. Grown up at the pharmacy helped me pick one out. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god! What? What? What's wrong? Los Angeles, Look! Oh no, then she's gonna no. have to save it! It's like a mom! No! no. no. It's the same! No. Time's a flat no. circle! It's no. just like his mom! No. But the glove didn't fit, guys. Let's be honest. The glove didn't fit. If the condom doesn't fit, you must acquit. It's just like what happened with my parents and Nixon. Oh my god, I'm my mother. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you got a girlfriend now. Sorta. Of. Oh, what do you mean, sorta? Of? Bethany's spending the summer in Italy. That sucks! <laughs> that the is gonna be right where you left it. Italian guys are famous for their sexual restraint and respect for women. <laughs> <laughs> Stepping on his wound right now. And junior year was weird, huh? Yeah, it sucked, no doubt about it. Bro, senior year's about to be crazy. You know they put in that junior year line because they want to remind people, if there was a season two, we still have another year of high school, okay? Please give us a season two, please. Please, please. Season two isn't gonna help, bitch. It's fucking huge. It's gonna get season two. This is like the only like reason people are talking about this fucking dead streaming platform. God, thunder buddies. buddies, bro. They're gonna do it. Oh my god, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. Fuck you, Thunder. Yeah, you can suck my dick. Yo, they did it, bro. 
OJ Simpson was a quitter of all charges. Happy ending. See? Wholesome show. The real killer is still at large. That is a fucking amazing ending. Do free OJ. And if you want free orange juice, then you better head over to uh, subscribe button. Subscribe button. Subscribe. Thanks to Aeromir. Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Atomic Leon. Bento. Kane Rivers. Calm Luke. Cosmic Dega. Crystal X Bunny. Frozen Spaghetti. G3 Om. Gov. Stargazer. Gioni Snare. Yorison. Helio. Hunter Pearson, Hummus, Isaiah Alford, Jace LaRue, K99, Kamui, Lilac Moon, Mirak55, Native5, Omega Waffles by the way, Patrick Case Randolph, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Sean City Navy Gaming, Tieran Stills, Trinity Martin, Val Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Lime. Thank you guys so much.